Hello and welcome on board, everybody. I am Scruffy Tam, your pilot on Scruffy Tam Airlines, where we wear crazy socks all the time. This series is a tour of uninhabited islands in the Pacific Ocean, and we'll slowly make our way over to the main Hawaiian islands, learning some history about these islands that are, some are very tiny. Uh, there's actually one reef We'll see some beautiful sunrises and sunsets as we go. Let me give you a quick recap on what we're going to be doing. This will be an eight, um, eight video series. One video a week will be posted on YouTube. We're going to start right here at uh, Midway. Midway Wild, uh, Wildlife Refuge. And then we'll fly over here to what we lovingly dub Pork Chop Island. You'll see why in the video. Then we'll fly over to these little tiny remote islands as we travel the Pacific Ocean all the way to the main Hawaiian islands, finally ending up right here on the main island of Hawaii at Airport PHTO, Papa Hotel Tango Oscar. Along the way, we'll discover beautiful beaches humongously tall sheer cliffs jungle and a lot of other surprises volcanoes so i hope you enjoy this eight part series videos we will be posting every wednesday at 2 p.m eastern standard time starting with this one also don't forget my united states coast to coast tour videos which post every friday at 2 p.m uh, that's a 30 part series that will post one every Friday at 2 p.m. until May the 1st. After this Pacific Coast tour, I am right now on twitch.tv slash scruffytam doing more ocean island tours. So be sure to come in, say hello, give me a follow, check it out. Hope you enjoy it. All right, everybody, I wish you clear skies, light winds and favorable conditions as you fly. Take care of yourselves. Hope to see you on a stream soon. See us later. I am out. Let's go. Hey, everybody. Good evening. At least it's evening for me. Hope everyone had a wonderful day. Uh, I had a really nice day. Had a good stream this morning. Really, uh, not a good one, an amazing stream this morning. Hey, Hannah, you, you are, but that's okay. That's okay. I love having you in my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you everybody for being here. I had an amazing um, morning stream. Really, really nice. Um, had a couple really awesome raids come in. And uh, this afternoon, I spent some time with my daughter, Tam the OG, and the grandkids. We made a ton of checks uh, mix. Hey, uh, Hannah, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate that. If you are um, familiar with checks party mix, we made, oh gosh, how many batches did we make? Eight. Eight batches, I think it was, of it. So that's that's kind of our specialty at Christmas time is to make checks mix. And then we gift it to our families and our neighbors. It's just kind of a little treat. And then, of course, that's what we feed off of for the rest of the month as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So we used, uh, how many boxes of cereal? Eight? I think eight boxes of cereal. Um, three. No, two large bags of Cheez-Its. Uh, three large containers of cashews, a large bottle of Worcestershire sauce. Uh, so yeah, we used to use a lot of stuff. But anyways, it's it's really fun. It's just once a year. And I ate way more than I should have. So I've probably put on some of the weight that I've lost here recently. But that's okay. <clears throat> All right, so uh, tonight I'm going to continue my flight uh, in the Hawaiian Pacific, uh, I did kind of mess up this morning with my flight plan, thinking that it was going to be a three-hour flight, 
it turned out total time is going to be about 11 hours but we've whittled that down to if i'm not mistaken it was nine hours left or 10 hours left when i ended stream something like that but let me get my flight plan up And are we connected? Wait a minute, I, I'm not, huh. okay. I thought I was connected to, all right, hang on. Let me get, let me get connected to my flight plan. Sim Toolkit Pro is what I'm using. And that way you guys can interact as well. Uh, you can see some of the flight data. I've got it set up. There we go, the Twitch, pot, the Twitch bot has joined now and hopefully, Cold Fork, what the freaking heck? Dude! Cold Fork, thank you so much for the three gift subs. Wow. Welcome. Uh, Bashuma. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Bashuma, enjoy your emotes. Clockmaster PC, enjoy your sub and your emotes. And Peppery Rock, enjoy yours as well. Dude, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's saying I lost connection. Don't tell me I've lost my stream again. Thank you so much. Yes, let me uh, give Cold Fork a shout out. Holy moly, dude, coming in hot. Uh, Hannah, will you give Cold Fork a shout out, please? It's still up for you. Perfect. Last night, um, I lost my internet connection just right at the end of stream. And I think it's something to do with the, with the, uh, SAPR one is there in the, the toolkit. Oh no, my bot is broken. Huh? Let me restart my bot. I see. In the meantime, enjoy this. I can't speak. There we go. I hope everyone enjoyed that short clip from one of Cold Fork streams. Uh, please go follow Cold Fork 85, a really, really amazing streamer, doing an awesome job. Uh, so yes, Cold Fork. Sometimes when I start um, Sim Toolkit, it, it messes with my internet connection somehow. Okay, my bot should be connected now. Hannah, go ahead and try that shout out, please. Let's see if it works this time. There we go. Yep. So hype is working. The shout out should work. And uh, the, yeah, the shout out worked anyways. There we go. We <laughs> oh, that connection issue messed with me. Uh, well, that's it for me. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. You have a good night. Nighty night. So nighty night to nighty night. You take care. Glad to have you along. Glad you enjoyed it. Look forward to catching up with you on the next one. There we go. Uh, so yeah, Cold Fork. When I ended, when I um, ended stream last night, when I shut down um, Sim to Sim Toolkit, it actually um, shut my stream off. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. So I've learned to leave it up. All right, let's go ahead and get going here. Um, I'm gonna switch. So what happened when, when we left stream this morning, we were on a remote island out in the middle of the Pacific and I actually was able to stick a landing on it. Um, and so I was gonna try to take off from it, but it's actually got me taking off 1500 feet in the air airborne. That's cool. I'm perfectly good with that because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to take off. Uh, this island's pretty short and um, a lot of bushes. Tomos, what's going on Tomos? Good to see you too, friend really enjoyed your stream Tomos has a song redemption and I redeemed that on his stream and so he sang a custom song Viper Strike what's going on good evening to you as well we go. Idle. thank you for that thank you for that shout out for Tomos uh, we'll watch this short clip and then we'll go ahead and start on our flight spoilers there we go 
Oh, welcome to Praia yet again. And return. I. All right, and a shout out for our oh, friend. Apparently, from Ohio, like the right. Viper Strike. That's right, Paris and Base. Absolutely. And that's something we went over in Dayton. So technically, both Ohio and North Carolina both have recognition for aviation. Ohio for the two people who made the plane, and North Carolina where the first flight happened. Good stuff, good stuff. Thank you so much for those shout outs, and let's get flying. See what the weather's looking like. I think it may be, is it gonna be dark or not? Let's see. Flight predictions have been reset, and it looks like it is going to be dark outside. So I'm going to change to live. Center it should Cessna not be dark outside. Sierra Tango is type Cessna Skyhawk, 1,500 feet. Request flight following. Cessna November Niner. Yeah, we'll go with real time. There we go. Now we can see some stuff. Squawk 4766 Cessna to Sierra Tango. All right, I do need to adjust. Wait a minute now. My flight sim toolkit is not showing me. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. So I've got to change my heading. Why am I getting these pop-ups? And why am I seeing this? What has happened to my stream since this morning? All right, we're going to turn heading on. And I think I was at 130, maybe? No, it was 150. I'm going to go with 130. 130 will get me where I want to be. Oh, it's a bug. Oh, good Lord. Dang. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Thank you. I didn't realize that, that it would do that. So I'm going to have to um, knock off the accessibility stuff. What a pain in the butt, right? All right. So we'll turn autopilot on. Uh, let's set our flight level for Let's just go with a thousand. We'll fly kind of low. I mean, it's not like there's a whole lot out here anyways, right? All right, I'm gonna go back out. Let me exit out really quick and we'll change the accessibility stuff Navigation aids I'm assuming yep, it's on easy. We'll put that on hard that should do it right yes perfect get objectives off there and now what i've done no it didn't either I, I want these off too because what i've done um this afternoon why's my overlay not working Are y'all able to see the sim toolkit overlay? Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to turn, let's see here. Good Lord. User experience. Okay. Thank you. All right, man, this, they really need to fix this. Everything's on easy. I want everything to be on hard. This is really a pain in the butt. there let's see that should should take care of everything for us now i hope there we go good deal there got all the stuff fixed so uh, i do need to change my heading just a bit i know right hannah it's okay though it's okay let me adjust my heading a touch and we'll be heading no pun intended 
to the next island. So this morning on this morning streams, uh, this morning stream, we discovered some new islands out here in the Pacific. I'm sure other people have discovered them before we did. Sorry about little nav map popping up. Give it just a minute. I was going to show you what we discovered. So we discovered an island that we have named Pork Chop Island. It is, let's see here, where was Pork Chop Island? Pork Chop Island is right here. Kung Fu Kangaroo named that Pork Chop Island for us. And then we flew down here, and this island actually does have a name. We flew to Lisansky Island. And now we're going to fly over to, oh, I need to fly up. To Laysan Island. So I need to be at a heading of about 100. All right, so I'm gonna change my heading to 100. There we go. Just kind of exploring some islands. Uh, this morning when I originally built this, before I told Sim Toolkit what aircraft I'd be flying, it estimated the total time for this to be uh, just under four hours. But once I started flying, the time changed to 11 hours of flight time. So I decided, hey, what the heck? I'll spread this over the next few streams and we'll do a uh, Pacific Island tour. And so that's what we're doing. Uh, ET, ETA right now is nine hours and 43 minutes. Uh, tonight I'm gonna be streaming for, I don't know, probably three, three and a half hours. We'll see. So we'll, we'll knock out a lot of this. A lot of it's just going to be flying over the Pacific Ocean. Uh, by the way, anyone that wants to fly with us, just like Lopez FamTube is doing, uh, y'all jump in and fly along. Oh, oh, also, also, I do have a custom uh, uh, livery now. If you want to get the livery, it is in flightsim.to. Just search Scruffy Tam, and you can download this livery for your Cessna C-172, and that way you can see it while you're flying. If you're interested, you don't have to. Uh, if you'd like a link to it, there's a link to it. So you can go there, you can download it into your community folder, and that way, you, while you're flying along with me, you can actually see my plane as I see it. With my, uh, with my custom livery. How's everyone else doing today? What did you do today? I hope everyone had a fantastic day. I need to be flying at a heading of 90. There. That should put us where we want to be. So we're still a good little chunk away. Any day you wake up's a good day. Dude, Cold Fork, I, I agree with you 100%. Uh, there is rarely a day that I can say is a bad day for me. I've always been a very positive person, uh, regardless of the circumstances. Uh, life is good. Life is good. So, yes, I agree with you 100%. Any day I wake up is a good day. Yes. Cold Fork, speaking truth. Coming in with three gift subs and then speaking all the truth tonight. Thank you.
Lopez, what is up? Thank you for flying along. I see you sneaking up back there. Or I did. Where you at? Where you at? Did I lose you or did you drop out? Oh, you were, okay. Oh gosh, you know what? Thank you for shouting out, Lopez. Cool, Lopez. Thank you. You know, I just realized that, that I forgot to gas up when I was on the island. However, I couldn't have gassed up anyways because um, I started in the air. So I'm probably going to do an air refueling. As unreal as that is, as unrealistic as that is, that's what I'm going to end up doing. Hope everyone enjoyed that short clip from Lopez FamTube. Uh, be sure you follow them as well. They're a, uh, a fairly new streamer trying to get um, affiliate. Did you did you get to affiliate yet, Lopez? Last time I saw you were really, really close to 50 viewers or 50 followers, excuse me. But thank you for deciding to watch me. Uh, but you are more than welcome to fly along like always. So I have adjusted my fuel trim. Not my fuel trim. Although that technically is what we're doing. But I adjusted my, um, my fuel mixture just a little bit. Just trying to conserve fuel as much as possible. Yeah, so have they added... Have they added active people in chat uh because iceman messaged me the other day and asked me to come uh talk in his chat which led me to believe that that's a, a requirement too it used to be 50 and then you had to have a certain number of, an average of a certain number of uh viewers at the same time like an average three viewers i think or something like that it'll come lopez it'll come yeah okay so is there any requirement about uh, the number of chatters at one time or anything, or is it just the number of viewers? Just don't get discouraged. That's the main thing. Don't get discouraged. It'll happen. Okay. It used to be just 50 followers and then an average, uh, I think it was an average of three or five per stream and it takes a little while to get there it really does but the the advice i give everybody the main thing you can do okay none of the requirements involve chat okay thank you um the main thing i tell anybody that asks me is just be interactive even if and it, and it is discouraging when you're looking and you only see you see zero viewers and you know no one's watching just act like chat is full and you're just talking because eventually someone is going to come across your stream and if you're just sitting there you're not talking or anything they're gonna they're gonna move on because they're looking for engagement so engage, engage, even if you're engaging with yourself. And that's awkward to begin with. It really is. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, don't focus on numbers just exactly like cold fork said be you the people will come you just be you um people will see through if you don't enjoy what you're doing people will see through it so make sure you're doing what you enjoy play the games that you enjoy and then you know, do it had to get a refund from steam you bought the sim but need to get it through the market to keep your planes
Oh, wait a minute. So you had it on, oh, so you had it on Xbox and you bought it through Steam, but you had to get it through the Microsoft Marketplace to be able to keep your aircraft. That's kind of crappy. I mean, it's, well, I guess Steam does give, you know, does keep some of that money, but dang, really Microsoft? Gotcha, so you can delete Game Pass. I'm with you. And the other thing you need to understand is some nights there's just more people streaming than other nights. Like typically Friday nights, uh, just like tonight, my numbers are going to be down a little bit. Just because it's Friday night, a lot of people are, you know, going out to eat or on dates or whatever and there's a ton of other people streaming so you know i don't focus too much on the numbers getting a little cloudy uh let's look at my live map and see have we got a storm system we're coming up on let's see here No, according to the live radar, there's really not a whole lot going on here. Oh, you got promoted at work? Awesome. So what are you doing now? Congratulations, by the way. I got, uh, I got what we call it work voluntold to be on a committee. It's way too easy to focus on numbers and analytics and get stressed out. Yeah, just just keep relaxed and have fun, exactly. If you have fun, enjoy what you do, engage with your audience, people are gonna come, it'll happen. It'll happen. Yeah, so I got an email yesterday. Member service at the door, greeting and temps for the coolers. Oh, sweet. Heck yeah, hey, and, and keep doing good at that and you'll get promoted even more as well. Your employers have seen that you have potential and that's why they gave you the promotion. So keep up the good work. I got an email from the vice president of our college yesterday and uh, they call it kind of what we call voluntold me to be on a committee. Uh, so they gave us a problem that, that that we face as instructors and that the college faces in general and we are to research it and then report back to uh, to her to the vice president of the school what our findings are and if any changes can be made or anything like that but yeah anytime you get a promotion at work it's that's a good thing keep it up but yeah call for by the way i've been meaning to ask you um is your are you, is is your oxygen is that covid related did you did you get covid a lateral move at work you went from working got sick and you're on short-term disability mm, nasty pneumonia and i'm sorry i meant to preface that with if it's none of my business i don't mind you saying hey you know i'll really it's a, really none of your business Nathan, hey brother, what's happening? I was going, I, I have been meaning all day to uh, to text you and find out how you're doing. How are you? How's Brittany? Good to see you, Nathan. Uh, can, can I get a shout out for Nathan, please, Hannah? How's things going over there? So check out this short clip of TBM Nathan. Hey, Nathan, dude, I, I have not, honestly, I have not thought another thing about it, okay? I have not thought another thing about it. Just chilling along here. Uh, if, if anyone does want to fly along, you're welcome to uh, fly along. And 
if you want to um, download my livery so that you can see my plane in game as you can see it on stream I do have that uploaded to uh, flightsim.to just search Scruffy Tam and you can download it fairly open sick for about a month spent four days in the hospital came home with O2 strapped to your face dude that would drive me absolutely bananas I know just type in livery you don't even have to type the exclamation mark just type in livery there you go thank you Hannah Yeah, once I learned I didn't have to use exclamation marks, um, I left the ones that have the exclamation marks. Um, but the new ones that I'm creating, I'm not worrying about it. I just, I like to be able to type in a word. Oh gosh, yeah, I pull for it. So I had to have heart surgery in December of 20, 2019. Yeah, December of 2019, I had heart surgery and then I had heart surgery this past July. And part of that when I, in recovery was oxygen. And oh my gosh, it drives me bananas to have some those two little things stuck up your nose and then looped over your ears and stuff. Yeah, I understand. But what I did like, the, the one plus that I really liked about oxygen, um, and most of y'all on my stream know that I'm really nasally and it's because I have horrible sinus problems. The oxygen really dries out my sinuses and makes it where I can breathe super good out my nose. But um, as you can tell, I haven't been on oxygen in a little while. Uh, Nathan, everyone is great. Tam the OG and uh, the kids and I, we spent all afternoon cooking. We made up a bunch of batches of Chex party mix I streamed this morning. We did that, and uh, no, everything everything's really good. Thank you. Everyone's healthy. Yeah, see, I didn't get nosebleeds, but but I'm not long term like you either. I, I I didn't have to wear it long term. And whoever this is, I don't think they're flying along with us. They're at forty seven thousand feet, forty two thousand feet. They have been kind of flying along, but I don't think they're here with us. Things are nice and, nice, nice and smooth on the Pacific this afternoon. I'm pretty sure, aren't I live weather too? I'm, I should be live. Yeah, live weather real time. So we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, dude, I'm so excited because my last day with students was yesterday class starts back january 10th so you guys will y'all will be seeing me streaming a whole lot more and i'm so glad you're building celeste the house in the animal crossing oh sweet really dang so celeste was on the beach or did you give did you give celeste some chocolates while she was on your island hannah I built, um, I built Myra a house. I gave her a box of chocolates and she wanted a house. So I built her a house. Yeah, we'll have to do a flight. That'd be amazing. Hopefully I'll have the opportunity to jump in some other people's channels and fly along with them. Maybe even while I stream. Oh, Hannah, that's pretty cool. So you can scan amiibos and build them houses. That's awesome. I didn't realize that.
drag this over here really quick to show y'all where we're at so this was where we took off from uh this is going to be our next little island destination so we're not quite halfway there not quite halfway there but we're close and the the final my, my whole purpose in this flight where we started right here was to kind of fly these islands in the pacific and then ending up over here in hawaii little did i know that this was a 11 hour trek starting here and going over to um hawaii i'm not sure i don't know the island name so forgive me but rather than cheat and just start here and then go there you know to, to the end i said what the heck it will be fun kind of kind of fly in the pacific checking out some of these islands these remote islands and it's been it's been pretty interesting had some beautiful sunrises can't make, wait to move next year so you can finally be happy and get the new boeing yoke for flight sim dude that that would be awesome figured out what was wrong with the plane the other day Oh, your broken controller was knocking it. What? Dave, Dave, I am in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, let me show you where I'm at. Actually, I've got uh, I've got Flight Sim Toolkit pulled up as well. Uh, but let me show you on Little Nav Map. So this is Midway Wildlife Refuge in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And we're just flying these little islands, hopping from one island to the next on our way to uh, the Hawaiian Islands. Yeah, so cool stuff, cool stuff. Welcome though, how are you doing, Dave? Good to see you, friend. Thank you for thank you again for getting me hooked up with, uh, with Sim Toolkit. That's an amazing tool and I do have it set, um, as you can tell by the flight data up on the up on the top by the way is that too much do i need to get rid of the um heads up display now that i have uh the other displayed up here for you guys i just realized because i can't see it i figured it was probably going to be a little bit too much oh thank you for that shout out for dave thank you for that shout out uh, dang things got really dark all of a sudden weather wise i didn't realize um i just happened to i was i was watching the clip and then i looked up and we got dark clouds here uh dave is a really cool guy he is a pilot in real life as well actually uh was was visiting very close to me last weekend didn't get a chance to meet up with him but we have spoke by phone uh, on a couple of occasions he helped me get some stuff set up on my uh, on my flight sim streams. So really appreciative appreciative of Dave. Yeah, dude, I, I really did appreciate that. So I think I'm going to knock the heads up display stuff off really quick too, uh, because I feel like it's probably redundant with the, uh, the SIM toolkit stuff that's pulled up. So let me get rid of it. Uh, let's see here where navigation aids. No, wait a minute. Piloting. Am I in the wrong section to turn off the heads up display? User experience. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. There we go. 
and now we don't have the redundancy of um, your toolbar across the top and might as well you are my number one son you got that right you got that right Nathan my number one son oh sure question me Nathan no worries my life is an open book For the most part oh Dave so I was looking this morning and I found my logbook from my one pilots lesson that I took and uh, I was I was looking at it and this was uh, August 6th of 1994 August 6th of 1994 the day before my daughter's first birthday I took my first flight lesson it was six tenths of an hour and we did uh, efforts of con efforts of controls straight and level and I can't read the rest of this yeah that was pretty pretty cool to, to have found my flight log from back then Oh, um, so obviously you play a lot of flight sim. Is there any websites you can use to log your flights and stuff you've been looking? You can't find any that's easy to use. Okay, so I'm going to... I th I'm going to answer yes, I think so. But I'm going to let Dave and Cole Fork answer for sure. There you go, Sim Toolkit. That was going to be my question. So Sim Toolkit, uh, if you go to Sim Toolkit, and I think it's a .uk website address. And here's the, here's Sim Toolkit. So I can go to the logbook. And so I've done four total flights, three and a half hours, total distance, and then it gives... It gives the different flights right here. So that's one of the one of the log books right there. Oh, OK, gotcha. Yes, you do have to download it. Sorry about that. Yeah, I forgot you, you're playing on Xbox, right? Yeah, so there is no way, and I don't know if Xbox, if if the Xbox Sim does keeps those flight records or not. Look at that, that little rainbow. Isn't that awesome? Oh, look, there's the rest of it right there. Let's see if I can get a screenshot of this. If you have four flight you can use that also to log in time oh sweet so dave you're saying uh four flight is like an app and you can just manually log your time Not a whole lot going on out here in the middle of the Pacific. We are um, right now about halfway done. Halfway between, not halfway done. Halfway between the island that we took off above and our destination island. I need to look at my fuel really quick because I forgot to refuel. And I'm just going to have to do an air refueling because I seriously doubt that there's any fueling stations on these little remote islands out here.
But we'll see. We'll see. So Dave, is four flight what you use um, as a as a as a in real life pilot to log your stuff? That cloud right there looks mean. Er, gonna eat this little bunny rabbit, little bunny rabbit cloud right there. Tam the OG just saw I was live. There's my daughter, Tam the OG. How are you, baby? give Tam the OG a shout out. Uh oh, why is my stream deck not working? Come on stream deck, work with me here. There we go, thank you Hannah, I appreciate that. My stream deck is wanting to not be cooperative. Oh, there I am. Look at there. I'm making a cameo appearance. Appearance? Appearance in her shout out video. So that's my daughter, Tam, the OG. We spent the afternoon making checks party mix together. <laughs> Beats are for Asheville. The time. We've got five knot winds uh, coming from 150 degrees. Visibility is 10 statute miles. Broken clouds at 14. Overcast is 70. Yeah, oh, dude. Heck yeah, it works. Oh, no problem, Nathan. Dude, I know it's really, really late for you. Uh, thank you for thank you for coming in and, and giving me a shout. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Sleep well, friend. Sleep well. Yeah, Dave, it works really well. There's been some commands that I've had people come in and ask for, uh, but the the overlay kind of gives those answers, like the heading and stuff like that. So that's why I've got the overlay up on the top. But thank you, Nathan. Take care of yourself, bud. Yeah, I've been doing stream stuff for the past couple days, just getting stuff set up. Like I, I made a link. Well, I uploaded my uh, my uh, livery to flightsim.to so that people that are flying along with me and they want to see my plane as it is, they can actually download the livery now off of flightsim.to. So I've got a link. Uh, if you just type in livery, it'll it'll give you the link, or you can go to flightsim.to and just Google or not Google search Scruffy Tam and flightsim.to. Oh yeah, no problem, Tam the OG. Tam is leaving to fly up to Chicago Monday, and if I was not working, I would jump in a plane and fly beside him. <laughs> that would be fun to be able to fly the same route that, that her and their kids are flying and, and, and husband. All right, still a good little ways away from the next island. Nothing in sight but water. But I think we all just enjoy flight and enjoy flying. I just enjoy looking at the scenery, even if it's just, just water, right? Flying is an amazing thing.
uh tomorrow speaking of speaking of streaming tomorrow i will be streaming uh in the morning probably once again starting between uh 9 and 10 p.m uh, 9 and 10 a.m tam the og thank you for the lurk i appreciate that baby so i'll be starting stream between 9 and 10 a.m uh no no problem tam i totally understand you're getting ready for getting ready for your trip to chicago I totally understand. I tell you what, while we're just kind of chilling, I need to take a picture. Let's see here. I need to take a picture of the back so that I can use this as my just chatting background. So let me get a screenshot photo of that really quick. Here we go. distance away you know that, that's one thing about me just being hard-headed and, and committing to this flight plan is there's so much just space between each uh point of interest each each island and there's not a whole lot to see as you can tell it's just the pacific ocean and clouds so my apologies for that i try to be as engaging as possible with my audience But maybe once we get to the island, it'll be an interesting, it'll be an interesting island, but it'll pay off also once we get to the main islands as well. Kid Knives. Hey, Kid Knives. How are you this evening? Hannah, if you're still here, can you give Kid Knives a shout out for me, please? Kid Knives is also a fellow streamer. Uh, they usually do some uh, some spooky games like Phasmo and Dead by Daylight and other other fun games. There we go, Dead by Daylight. I nailed it. Oh, you're just feeling a bit lonely. So here I am talking about uh, spooky things, and then <laughs> Animal Crossing comes up as the as the clip. Oh hey, y'all come hang out with me. If you're lonely, this is a good place to be. I hope I'm I hope I'm good company for you. The kid knives, I hope you're okay. I hope you're doing okay. Kid knives has been a member of our community for quite some time. So speaking of Animal Crossing, I've been working on my island a little bit. The dead, the dead worm one. The dead worm one. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to what I call the sock drawer. How are you this evening? Are you a flight simmer? Yeah, the flight sim community is an amazing community. Just honestly, the streaming community in general is, is amazing. Amazing bunch of folks. Do 
Do I have anybody flying along? Nope. Okay. So just kind of a, uh, like I said, kind of a quiet flight this evening as we head across the Pacific to the Hawaiian Islands. An airliner would probably be more suitable for the purpose of what I'm doing. <laughs> but, but I chose uh, Cessna 172 because I thought it was only going to be a, a like a four hour flight not an 11 hour flight but that's okay we're gonna we're gonna have fun either way and I'm gonna change my heading just a little bit the winds have picked up some so I need to change my heading from 90 to 95 wrong button There we go. This heading will take us right on top of the island uh, that I'm looking that I'm looking at looking at as we overfly it. We're still nowhere near close enough to be able to see it. The good news is, from this island to the next island, it's not quite as far. And I could fly at a higher altitude as well. That would help us see things a little more, but there's really, honestly, there's nothing to see out here except water and clouds, so enjoy it. So if you're just joining me, what I'm doing is a um, kind of a tour of some of the remote islands of the Pacific Ocean. My intent was just to fly the the Hawaiian Islands and I was thinking that these islands kind of on the outskirts were part of the Hawaiian Islands. It turns out they technically are. However, they are a long ways away from each other. So what initially I thought was going to be about a four hour flight ended up being an 11 hour flight of which we have done about three hours of. <laughs> So my apologies for just the Pacific Ocean and clouds. But uh, I'm kind of a hard-headed person and I really, you know, once I have a plan in place, I'm going to stick with it. And so I'm going to stick with it. It'll pay off once we get to the main islands. But for now, it's just water and clouds. Oh, thank you so much. So you left your stream on earlier and as you go through who was raided, I was just one of the people that got raided. On a second note, you're very friendly and welcoming. Keep up the good work. Oh, dude. Thank you so much, uh, Denver. I appreciate that. Are you a streamer? Uh, because I thoroughly believe in shouting out all streamers. I understand how important it is to, to get the followers and to um, get your viewer count up. So... If you're a streamer and you're just lurking, please don't feel shy to tell me, hey, I'm a streamer and we'll give you a shout out. The only time that I really have an exception to that rule of, you know, I don't mind if you tell me you're a streamer. I've been on some people's channels and like they're just the obnoxious the, the people you know the, the the people that are streamers on there like hey can i get a follow or hey i'm gonna be streaming in a few minutes raid me and stuff like that 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 gets a little obnoxious but besides that um i'm all about shouting out fellow streamers so don't ever be shy about it But I appreciate the compliment. Thank you so much. I try to be welcoming to everybody that comes in. And I'm going to have to take a water refill break very soon. 
just finished the last of my cup of water. Zero! What's going on, Zero? <laughs> you modified the emote. Oh, that would be Ole. Ole. Or Ole? I don't know how you'd say that. O L L E H. Either way, welcome. Good to see you, Pepsi here in Zero. I hope you're doing well this evening. I'm about to uh, go to the BRB screen and go ahead and refill my water. We're getting close to the next island. We drag, drag this map over a little bit. So this is where we started. Uh, this is our next uh, destination is what I'm saying, but I'm, I really have no intentions of landing here because it's probably not going to be the best island to land on. Ole, Ole. That's kind of what I, no, I think it would be Ole. I think it would be Ole. So we're not going to really land on it. We're just going to fly over it. If it's long enough, I might circle back around and land on it. But I think it's going to be pretty short. And there's definitely not going to be any fuel there. Once we fly over that one, we've got another one that's even smaller right here. And then, uh, anyways, th there's just a few little islands scattered through. that will overfly on our way to the main Hawaiian islands. Once we get to the main Hawaiian islands, then we'll do um, some, some flying around them, some sightseeing and stuff like that. All right, as we approach this island, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run and refill my water bottle, I mean, well, my water cup, excuse me, and uh, relieve myself of some water and I'll be right back. Y'all enjoy some uh, festive Christmas music while I'm going. Be right back. Stick with me and it's gonna be fun. All right, and I'm back. I'm back and let's see here. What are the winds looking like? The winds have actually picked up a little bit, but our heading is still good. Uh, we're still gonna be flying directly over this little remote island in the Pacific. And usually, you know, whenever I fly over these islands, or like in the outer banks of North Carolina. I think what an amazing place to live. And it, and it would be pretty pretty cool to live on a, you know, a remote deserted island. However, when a hurricane or a typhoon comes through, uh, it wouldn't be so fun. And besides that, on some of these islands that's barely long enough to land a plane, unless you had a boat, there's really no way, or a helicopter, I guess. 
but even then where would you go to get groceries and stuff like that when it's barely big enough to land a plane on uh i guess it would be big enough to have a garden and you know grow your own food it'd be a challenge though so as much as when i fly over these islands i think how cool would it be to live here you know kind of out in the middle of nowhere remote island on the other hand i think i'm thankful i live where i live I may end up having to adjust by heading just a couple degrees because it looks like we're gonna be just slightly to the left of our little island so let me adjust my heading just a touch let me go to 98 see how that does go back to external view because external view is um, a little more engaging for you guys If you'd like to fly along, uh, feel free to fly along. Uh, I really can't give you the, I, I, don't, I don't know what airport would be the closest for you because I'm a long ways away from any airport. However, you can spawn in on me. So uh, feel free to fly along if you'd like to. We are, let's see here, about 20, probably 25, 30 miles away from the island. I'm getting a little bit closer. And actually it's not, well, I'll run out of gas before we get to it, but there is another island. So one, two, three, the fourth island from now actually has a small airport, probably, you know, like a farm airport or something. let me look let's look at the fuel situation i'm probably gonna have to refuel soon uh, we got 16 gallons of fuel left 29 percent i'm gonna leave the fuel alone for now i just want to see how far i can go if i don't make it to the airport which i seriously doubt i'm going to then uh what's the what, once my engine starts sputtering oh no 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 that's okay ice man i wasn't going to I, my, my plan was not to stream however when the wife when the wife says hey are you planning on streaming tonight then that means you know hey you can stream if you want to i'm going to bed <laughs> so um she went to bed because she's got to work tomorrow she has to go to work early tomorrow and i don't have to work tomorrow so hey i said what the heck i may as well fly and if I'm going to fly, I may as well stream. But no worries, Iceman. You're still welcome to jump in. Still welcome to jump in here with me. I'll be here for a while. At least uh, probably two, two and a half more hours. Yeah, y'all be sure to check out Iceman 333. Iceman is a, is a really good streamer. Uh, good individual and we only live like two hours away from each other one day one day i'm gonna have to meet up with iceman he's got some google socks for me too i gotta get so check out iceman 
Oh, Iceman, I did go ahead. I don't know, someone downloaded it. It may have been you, but I did load in my new library to flightsim.to. So uh, if you're interested in, in downloading my library, so whenever you're flying along with me, you can see my plane as we see it right now. Go to flightsim.to or just type in the word library in chat, no exclamation, just library in chat and it'll give you the link where you can go to and download it. So feel free to do so. <laughs> no, you the man. I did see, I looked earlier and I saw where one person has downloaded it. It wasn't me because I already had it. So I don't know who it was. I thought it might've been you, Iceman. But yeah, I did, I did take care of that. I said I was going to, and I did. So uh, if, if you're just joining and you want to fly with me, feel free to fly. I am U.S. Server East. And I am somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. Um, northwest of Honolulu and the other main Hawaiian Islands. But we are flying the Hawaiian Islands. We're just flying the outskirts, the way outskirt Hawaiian Islands. We're talking... Um, Eight hours away outskirts. But the main thing is, there's not a whole lot of scenery, just the ocean and clouds. But the main thing is, we're having, uh, um, we're ha I'm enjoying talking to you guys, and I hope you're enjoying engaging right back with me. I appreciate you guys very, very much. I truly do. Uh, so here's the moon out here. The moon shining over the Pacific, even though the sun's out. I told a funny story. Um, I had, it was myself, my granddaughter, Cece Cat, my grandson, Opal Dino, and I were in my Jeep one night. I think it was Halloween, actually. And no, it wasn't Halloween. It was a full moon. And so we looked out to the right and you could see the full moon, like shining big time. No, the sun, the sun was setting, excuse me. Oh my gosh, I can't even get my story straight. The sun was setting on our right and you could look over to the left and see the full moon rising. And I said, look at that guys, that you can see the sun on the right and see the moon on the left. And my granddaughter says, pop, pop, that's not real. You're just tricking us. <laughs> so uh, it's funny that kids think we have control over stuff like that like how how did i get the moon to show up along with the sun you really think i have a lot more powers than i actually have but uh i'm thankful that you think so highly of me all right i need to turn my heading a little bit more to the right uh the winds the winds have picked up some and it's blowing me off course just slightly let me change my heading just a touch. Let's see here. Need to be, whoa, what am I doing? Yeah, I need to be about 105, dang. I wasn't looking at the dial, I was just moving. There. Pro tip, pro pro pilot tip. Whenever you're in your plane and you're adjusting the heading, look at the knob. Don't look outside while you're turning the knob because you may be turning a little bit too far. Pro pilot tip from a non-pilot for you guys. All right, we should soon hopefully be able to see land. We're about 10 miles out of this island. It's just a remote island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I uh, don't think anyone lives there. It's just just an island out here that's probably a, a baby volcano ready to grow up into a big boy one day. But 
a heading of one uh let's see here 105 is my heading and that heading should take us directly over the top of the island the winds keep changing i may have to change my heading to 110 because it looks like it's changing me five degrees from whatever heading i have so i am going to go ahead and change that so we can fly directly over sorry for all the back and forth here but hey i can't control what the winds do even though my granddaughter thinks i can there we go so this should put us right over the center of the island once we get there i'm curious to see how big this island is it appears to be the same size island as the one we landed at um, during this morning's stream but i'm not going to attempt to land i'm just going to fly over and we'll keep going Look at the fuel situation here. Ooh, seven gallons of fuel left. We are not going to make it to the next airport. I'll go ahead and tell y'all now. It ain't going to happen. question for those of y'all that are flight simmers and have been for a while are there not ships in this game so like is there a possibility that sometime when we're flying over the ocean that we may see an ocean liner or something is that a possibility or no it seems like I remember someone saying that they saw one um on a on a freight route but i i honestly i can't remember and i'm not 100 percent sure cool so iceman is that in is that in flight sim.to that's something i would definitely like to check out okay it looks like we can see the island now so this should be our land right here just starting to become visible yeah thank you ice man dude that would be amazing I appreciate that thank you so much all right we're coming up on our island let's see what this thing looks like oh aircraft carriers as well it took me a minute to realize what ac was i'm sorry uh, so yeah everybody we're coming up on the only problem with the simulator type games is all the dlc they keep adding yes a lot of dlc is fun to have but uh yeah there is a ton of dlc content out there 
but it, honestly a lot of it's free though in flight sim a lot of it's free now there is a lot of paid stuff but there's also a lot a lot of free stuff as well that you can add so i recently added towers like cell phone towers radio towers stuff like that and it was all free so that's pretty cool yeah this is a really tiny island i probably could have landed on it well you know what no i probably couldn't have it looks like the middle of it has a lake this is pretty freaking cool right here I'm gonna knock autopilot off and let's uh, let's free free fly this thing. I'd like to circle around this. Might as well if you have to crash into the water. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, we'd stand a better chance of living if we crash into this lake than uh, crashing into the ocean, right? Unless it's like super deep, and I guess it could be. That is really, really cool looking though. And, and I will say that would be an awesome place to live, I guess. Imagine living on this remote island in the middle of the Pacific. And it looks like you could definitely grow a garden there. Plus, you've got a lake. But man, I would be terrified to live in the middle of the Pacific Ocean all alone. I'm just gonna swing around really quick, do another flyover on the other side. What a beautiful beach. Yeah, Dave, dude, yeah, please. You will have to fly with me sometime, anytime. Anytime, you are welcome to fly. I'm gonna have to research this island. I wonder if anyone actually does live here. And how deep that lake is in the middle. You said all three. Thank you so much, Iceman. I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, I would love to have you fly along, Dave. All right, I'm going to do a quick little turn around here. Wow, that is really, really cool, y'all. How cool is that, right? That was really amazing. And that's why I wanted to fly over the Pacific. That is really, really cool. A little remote island in the middle of the Pacific. I'm gonna get a screenshot here. Y'all, so what I'm doing, I'm flying um, earlier today. I decided that I wanted to fly the Hawaiian Islands. And so rather than just fly the main islands, I said, look, why don't I 
fly you know from from way out a little bit further out little did i know it was going to be a 12 excuse me an 11 hour flight we started here at midway island it's a wildlife refuge and we've flown to one little remote island here we named it pork chop island uh now we're here excuse me now we're here and so my next destination is going to be this little island if it is even an island it's got to be really small and then we'll fly here 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 and then to the main islands of hawaii so yeah it's it's kind of a long flight um somewhat boring because a lot of it is just water but man you come across little jewels like this island that has a big lake in the middle of it and i mean it really makes it worth it it really makes it worth it that was beautiful absolutely beautiful and i would love to see that in person all right i'm gonna have to change my heading this time to To 95 so I'm gonna change my heading to 95 that should put us on track to fly over this next island Am I flying tomorrow night? Um, tomorrow night, tomorrow night. Yeah, you know what? I'm not sure, Dave. I may be flying tomorrow night. I know I'll be flying tomorrow morning. Um, but the wife tomorrow wants me to spend some time um, shopping with her tomorrow evening. Or, excuse me, tomorrow afternoon. I'm not sure if that's gonna get into tomorrow evening. Is what I meant to say. So I, I am. I honestly don't know, Dave. But one day, no freaking way. Are you doing a birthday stream? Um, Tuesday night. Ah, let me look, let me look at my calendar. Um, text me, text me, Dave. Text me that and let me see, dude, that would be amazing. Um, I don't have students anymore, so I should be able to go in a little bit late wednesday morning so that that may be doable but text me so i'll remember and i'll check change my heading just a touch yeah that'll be a lot of fun Nice, nice, nice. 8.30 or 9. I should be able to fly for a couple of hours. Uh, my plan starting really today is to start doing some more streaming uh, through the first week in January. So I really don't see a reason why I can't. I'm going to put it on my calendar. Right now. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, I should be good. Because this is all work stuff. And I'll, I get off work at 5. Let me add that to my calendar. at 8 30 or 9 yeah where are we going to be flying at have you have you uh, figured out where let me edit it really quick there we go 
Yeah, if for some reason I can, I will definitely watch, Dave. But it'll be fantastic if I can... If I can make it. So what I find is something I find really, really interesting as I'm flying over these small islands on the Pacific is how this island, and when I zoom out, you'll see how far away from Hawaii this really is. But this little tiny island, uh, it's just a reef actually, Maro Reef, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, you can see the border, it's Honolulu County, Hawaii, and then we have the other border, which is the United States. And look how far away this is from the main island. So, so here's the island right here that we're flying to next, or the reef. Look how far away this is from the main islands. Every one of these little islands that we visited has been that same way. They all have the, they all have the border around them. Uh, United States. And this is also a part of Hawaii. Oh, wait. Oh, Eastern Island. I thought that said Easter Island because I do want to visit Easter Island sometime. I have no idea where it's at, but I'd love to visit it. But how, how cool is it that this far away from Hawaii, we're talking 11 hours away. It's, it's Hawaiian territory, United States territory. What? But I guess some country has to own it, right? Or claim it or whatever. Dave, I don't know if you were in here earlier when I mentioned that I did upload this uh, livery to flightsim.to. So if, uh, if you or anyone else in here wants to get it, so whenever we're flying together, you can see my plane in this, um, in this livery, you're welcome to. Uh, it's flightsim.to and just search Scruffy Tam. And you can download it. Put it in your community file and then you should be able to see me. You gotta ask your parents, right, Iceman? <laughs> Iceman with the jokes this evening. It looks like the sun, no, the sun's not starting to set on us. It's still, still a little ways in the sky. So we'll see, uh, we'll just let the sun naturally go down and see what the sunset actually looks like before I go back and change time. I'm curious to see if the sunset is going to be as beautiful as the sunrise was this morning while we were flying, which I did have to change time, but just curious to see what it's going to look like. I'm going to try to do a little adjustment of this camera. This camera seems really uh, blown out, really bright. Let's see if I can do a quick adjustment to it. Okay, let's see. You created your emoji, but it shows up as a PNG file. How can you use it in chat? Um... You know, I'm not sure what the requirements are of emojis. I've actually got an artist that does all mine for me. So 
so i'm not sure if they have to be jpegs or what the requirements are um i just get i, I tell i tell her what i'm looking for and she creates it for me and sends it to me and i upload it i know they have to be a certain size that may be one problem is is the size they have to be pretty small so make sure it's sized right, which I think it'll resize too on its own. So I think it has to be a correct, a correct dimension, and then it, ha it can't be any, uh, it can't be a lar a too large of a file, and then I'm not sure what type of file it has to be. Let's see, let me look at mine really quick and see. Yeah, so mine are saved as PNGs. So, so my artist, uh, my artist created three different sizes for me: the 112, the 56, and the 20, 28 by 28, 56 by 56, and 112 by 112 um, pixels. Uh, so, how do you upload them? All right, so if you go to It's in Twitch. Uh, let's see here. So if you got a Twitch, click on your, uh, in the upper right, click on your logo and then creator dashboard. And then under community, no, not community. Viewer rewards, viewer rewards. Yeah, I do the same thing. I have them made. Um, I could probably create my own, but in fact, I did create my own to begin with, but they looked horrible. And so it's not that expensive to have, have them created. So I just had mine made. But I also understand not, you know, not having a budget for it. So, you know, if you can't, if you can't do it, um, you just go into uh, viewer rewards under, um, under your menu. All that is in that location is dropped. Wait a minute. Are you, uh, are you affiliate? Oh, cool, Dave. I've got to figure out how to do that. I noticed that earlier today, Dave, when, uh, because y'all, I can't stand to have any, uh, not alerts, but like notifications on my phone. Like right now I've got, um, two notifications for messages and it drives me crazy to have those little red circles with numbers in them. And so I always clear my notifications. And so even in discord, if I have an, what was that? I just stuttered. I never stutter. So I always look in Discord at notifications. And I saw where there was a new post on your Discord, Dave. So I looked and I saw where it had automatically uh, posted. So that, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, affiliate. Did I say associate? So you can't do, <laughs> you're right, Dave, I drank too much water. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> oh, I can't stand notification. The, 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 um, the red notification numbers drives me crazy. Yeah, so you have to have, you have to be associate, I think, before you can have emotes. I may be wrong. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Oh man, yes. Yeah, so when I wake up in the morning, I have to clear all my notifications out first. 
I see I've got one from Twitter, two from Discord, and I got two texts. Uh, and I can't wait to clear them out, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, if you are ahead of the game, sir. You are ahead of the game. I don't think you can use emotes until you're affiliate. I may be wrong, and I, I, I very well could be wrong. Because it's been a little while. Um, but yeah, if you've got them, you're ahead of the game. What I did initially was I took a picture of my dog. Let's see here. I've got... Yeah, so this was one of my original emotes right here. That was one of my original emotes. That's just a picture of my dog that I put in Photoshop and made it, I cartooned it a little bit to kind of make it look like a cartoon, but. Oh, it definitely makes sense, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I have mine where it pings everybody. When I go live, it pings everybody, but um, yeah. Some people like it that it pings everybody. Some people don't, uh, but that is an option that you can turn off notifications too. So I've got it to where my Discord pings everybody when I go live. And then if they don't want that, they can always disable those notifications. And that's, that's where I'm at with it. All right, we're about halfway to our next little uh, waypoint, which is a reef, just a reef. Oh, I need to take a picture of the name of that island that we overflew just a minute ago. It's Lace, Laysan, L-A-Y-S-A-N. Let me take a picture of this so I can check it out later on. Actually, you know what? Why am I looking up for later on when I can do it right now? All we're doing is flying over the ocean. Let me look up Laysan Island. L-A-Y. S-A. S-A-N. And there it is. I have found it. Let's see here. Laysan is, let's see here, do, 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 one land mass of 1,016 acres. It's one by one and a half miles long. It's an atoll of sorts, although the land completely surrounds a shallow central lake some eight feet above sea level that has a salinity approximately three times greater than the ocean. And that name, Laysan, uh, means egg in Hawaiian. How cool is that? Oh, Iceman, awesome, dude, awesome. Hey, you know, I'm, that's, that's one thing I say it all the time, and that's why I shout you guys out. I have been, I mean, we all, we all started out with no viewers and we had to build our communities and I understand how important it is. Um, and that's why, you know, when someone raids me, I make a big deal about it. Even, even, and, and even when someone, um, um, uh, shoot, can't think of the term host me when someone hosts my channel. I am very appreciative of a host. I'm very appreciative of raids because raids are how you build your community. And I hope, I said this earlier on Twitter, I hope that as my channel grows, that I never think that I'm, my channel is big enough to where when I have a follower, I don't acknowledge them, or when I have a raid, I don't acknowledge them. That happens, that has happened to me and just, you know, how rude, how rude to not even acknowledge that you were raided or when you get a follower, I hope that when I, that when I get thousands of followers, 
that I'll that I'll still acknowledge every follower that comes in. It just really bugs the crap out of me when I'm in someone's channel and they have their notifications up for follows and they don't even acknowledge it. What? Okay, let's see here. Uh, back to our island with the with the lake in the middle of it. Laysan is the second largest single landmass in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. So those are part of the Hawaiian Islands. Of course, we knew that. Native Hawaiians may have known about, about that island before Americans and Europeans sailed their ships into the region in the early 19th century. The first reported sightings of the island were by Massachusetts whalers in the 1820s. Whoa, what? This is really cool. Uh, so some more information about the island. Uh, they've got some unique species of animals there. Let's see here. There was, da, 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 da. keep on going, keep on going. Eighteen ninety four marked the arrival of Laysan's most notorious inhabitant, German immigrant uh, Max Schlemmer released domestic rabbins rabbins domestic rabbits, Belgian hares, English hares, and guinea pigs on the island, expecting them to multiply and provide supplies for future meat canning business. Meat canning business with guinea pigs? What? And this proved to be crucial in the, in the decline of this island. They did rapidly multiply. The rabbits rapidly multiplied. Soon the appetite of the rabbits far exceeded the available veg vegetation. Complaints about this and Japanese, po Japanese poachers of the bird population. So Theodore Roosevelt declared the Northwestern Hawaiian chain a bird sanctuary in 1909. Wow. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. And that was all about that island that we overflew just a few minutes ago. So someone released a bunch of rabbits and guinea pigs, basically, hoping that they would rapidly multiply and then that would be their supply chain for a meat canning, meat canning com uh, company. I don't know about you guys. I don't think I've ever eaten rabbit. I know people that do eat rabbit, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know about guinea pigs. I don't know if I'd ever eat a guinea pig. I may have eaten a guinea pig not doing it, but ugh. And so because, uh, because of that, the island is pretty much bare now between that and poachers of the birds uh, that are on the island. Interesting stuff. Learning a little bit about um, some of the some of the islands as we go. And look, we found the end of the rainbow, y'all. Somewhere down there, under the ocean. Hey, Dwarven Egg Official, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Hey, thank you for the follow and thank you for the chat as well. So guinea pig is not that bad. You had it in South America and also hello. Hello back to you, friend. And, and thank you for letting me know that. Um, I'm not opposed to eating guinea pig. I just, you know, here I've never had a guinea pig as a pet, but um, it just, it's just kind of weird because where I'm at, we have guinea pigs as pets and I can't imagine eating the family pet. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. I mean, I've had alligator, I've had snails. Stream is going amazing tonight, Dwarven Egg. Um, actually, I've kind of put myself in a bad position, as you can tell, fuel-wise. I'm out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with nowhere to refuel. Guinea pigs are rodents. 
and clean. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fixing to uh, I'm fixing to break out the magic gas station uh, right now. I'm gonna go ahead and refuel. So uh, I apologize for uh, any purists out there, but I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, I have. I've kind of, I, I, I messed myself up on that. So how long have you been a flight simmer, Dwarven? I've been simming for only three months, actually a little bit shy of three months. If you're just joining the stream. Oh, cool. Thank you. I didn't realize that Dwarven Egg was a streamer. Let me uh, go give them a follow really quick. Thank you for that shout out. Oh, wow, dude. I love. I love your background image on your stream that is really really nice very nice and thank you Hannah for being on top of things and for shouting out our new streamer friend so uh, what I did I started this morning on I, I wanted to tour the Hawaiian Islands and so rather than just tour the main islands I said hey why don't I just start at this little bit bigger island here and we'll just tour you know some of these little remote islands and then we'll head over to the mainland or the main islands so we started out at the midway wildlife refuge and we kind of been just making our way across the pacific ocean checking out some of these small islands uh, we're coming up on a reef right now um, not a whole lot of sightseeing to do until we get over an island Oh yeah, Dwarven Egg, no problem at all. Um, hey, I enjoy the clips. I enjoy shouting out fellow streamers. I know how important it is uh, to get those viewers. And I just appreciate you being here on my channel. I try to be super engaging with everybody. Yeah, I have... Hello. Ice Man, thank you for the lurk. Appreciate that lurk, Iceman. Thank you so much. So Dwarven Egg, I started out my flight sim experience doing a coast to coast tour. Oh, you know how to support a streamer? Cool. Cool. Um, I love supporting fellow streamers. Um, but yeah, I appreciate that. Um, I started out on a coast to coast tour of the United States. I started out in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, off stream this is while i was just starting to learn how to fly and then i started streaming from atlanta and i went all the way to the west coast flew up the california coast back down the other border of california all the way back east and landed at my home airport two streams ago finished my coast to coast tour they're all on youtube i've got a youtube channel every leg of it is on youtube i post one a week and then I was trying to think of what to do now. I said, hey, why not fly Hawaii? So here we are. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Hannah is just the best mod ever. Uh, my daughter, if she's still here, she's going to text me and tell me that um, that was not very nice of me to say that Hannah's the best mod ever when, Tamara, when Tam is a mod. Uh, but Hannah is, gosh always on my streams and just always on doing the mod stuff she is on it tam, tam is the best mod that's related to me i will put it that way all right we are uh gosh about five miles out of this reef out of yeah away from this reef so I'm curious to see what this reef is going to look like. We should be flying right directly on top of it once we get there. 
Uh, we do have a little bit of rain right here. Hopefully it won't affect our views too awful bad. That's one of the reasons I'm flying at a thousand feet. Once we overfly the reef, uh, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. I'll refill my water as well. About a two minute break and we'll be right back. Uh, Dwarf and Egg, how long have you been streaming? I've been streaming since, uh, it, I think it was September, September 7th or 8th of uh, 2020. September 7th or 8th of 2020. Been streaming for about six months. Have you got, dude, you're full time? Congratulations. Wow. So did you, were you a YouTuber before? And in, in how in the world in six months, in four months, did you go full time? Dude, Dwarven Egg, holy freaking crap. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. That, that's incredible. You, you have, uh, you, you've, you've done really well on Twitch then. <clears throat> I appreciate it. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, if you've got a dream, chase it. Um, that is, you know, I have been, I have been super blessed my entire life. Um, I, my background, I spent 28 years, excuse me, 14 years repairing vehicles at a uh, Chevrolet Cadillac dealership. So I was a automotive technician, master tech. During my first year after graduating tech school, I, w I knew I wanted to be a manager. 14 years later, I became a service manager at the same dealership that I originally was a technician at. And I managed that shop for 14 years. And now for a little over four years, I've been teaching at our local community college, um, teaching the new generation how to fix and repair vehicles. And hey, I, I have no complaints at all about my career none at all but yes if you dude if you have a dream put your eyes on that goal and this is this is for everybody in my channel if you have a dream you can reach it you can reach it just don't make your goal so high that you get discouraged but please set a goal for yourself and and head for it Yeah, I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed stream. And is it a grind? Heck yes. But, um, man, the friendships that I have made. Oh, uh, what airport am I heading to? So, right now, there's really not an airport. Um, right now, it's just the reef that I'm flying over. My final destination, it's going to be later on, not, not tonight's stream, is going to be um, Papa Hotel... Tango Oscar P H T O, but it'll probably be a couple streams before I reach that final destination. Uh, the next closest airport for me is going to be this one Papa Hotel Foxtrot Sierra P H F S is the closest airport to us, and it's a good little ways away. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, the grind is real, but totally worth it. No, no doubt whatsoever. Oh, here's our reef. Here's our reef. I'm glad we got through that storm or through that, that rain so we can see the reef. I'm really curious to see what this looks like.
so here's our reef out in the middle of the atlantic ocean it almost looks like just a runway holy crap what a thin piece of land out of the middle of the huge pacific i am in live weather in u.s east yes sir oh please do man i would love people to fly along please there is please fly along i am not believing that this is the shape of this reef though surely surely someone had to shape this or maybe just the game the way the game is it made it that shape but i mean to have such square edges is kind of hard for me to believe it may just be the way the game renders it out but <laughs> oh it looks so real right I would love to see all this stuff in real life though but yeah that's about the fakest thing one of the fakest things I've seen in the game all right y'all let me go take a quick pee break uh refill my water and I'll be right back I'm gonna go to the BRB screen enjoy some uh, Christmas holiday music while I'm going and I'll be right back Sounds like Charlie Brown music or something. Um, I bumped into my control camera when I went to sit back down, but uh, wow, I got it aimed just about right back where it was. Good job. Good job, Scruffy Tam. Good job. All right, let's sit here. So our next destination, let's see how far away we are. And am I going the right heading? I need to change my heading just a little bit. So I'm going to be taking a heading of... Uh, 93. Ah, uh, 93. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change to a heading of 93. Right now. That should put me in line uh, with our next little island that we'll fly over. Uh, Dwarven Egg, are you a pilot in real life? 
I am not a pilot in real life. I took one flight lesson in 1994. I am very close to due east, yes. In fact, yeah. I'm just, yeah. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, Dave Rendon is also a, uh, a PPL holder. You, you might laugh at this. <laughs> I'm laughing at it. I am a remote pilot. I hold my remote pilot certificate. So I'm a, I'm a drone pilot. <laughs> I am a drone pilot. According to the FAA, they call it a remote pilot. But anyways. Yeah, Dave Rendon's a, a really a, a good friend, a uh, big supporter of my community also. And a pilot in real life. I actually went looking today for my flight log, my pilot log, and found it. I found my pilot log, and um, it's got one entry from August 6th, 1994, the day before my daughter was uh, her first birthday, uh, where I, I flew for 0.6 hours. Drones are super fun. I've been flying drones since July of 2014. And uh, have uh, it was actually in business prior to the Part 107 rules. And at one point, I owned eight different drones. I now have whittled that down to I think four or five. Dave's a super awesome dude. I'm loving the rainbows too. Seeing a lot of rainbows out here in the Pacific as we uh, fly, fly across uh, rain and storm systems. Okay, nice. Good deal. Flying towards each other. Are you in a uh, 172 also? Look forward to meeting you. 172, baby. Heck yeah. I love the 172. That was my go-to plane for, oh, I don't know, probably the first half of my coast to coast tour and then once i got to the rocky mountains i switched to the beechcraft bonanza um and then i switched back to the to the 172 once i once i crossed back over but yeah i love this plane it's so easy to fly easy to land my landings are still horrendous iceman is back welcome back iceman You can make it in a 172, it's just a huge challenge. I could see that. Yeah, I, um, uh, which I guess if I spent more time like plotting my path through the Rocky Mountains and pick some mountains that weren't so high in altitude, uh, it would have helped a lot as well but hey i the, i was really really new to flight seeming really new to flight planning and i just plotted a course from one end of the united states to the other and back and flew it learned a lot oh it's more of an egg you know i i've really done a lot of thinking this week about going and trying trying for my ppl again or taking flight lessons i should say what the heck was that? Was that lightning? Did y'all see that flash? That was pretty impressive if that was lightning. Sweet. I'm going to, um, I'm going to mark that. 
so I can go back and watch out later. That was pretty freaking awesome. Oh, but you know what? My stream deck... I've got to reconnect my stream deck. Sorry about that. My stream deck is not communicating with Twitch right now for some reason. But yeah, I've got to check that out. So that was two hours and two hours and twelve minutes into the stream. Make a note of that. I'll go back and clip that. I'm actually looking for things. I'm, I'm wanting to change my channel trailer. When I uh, created the the welcome trailer that I, that you see now, whenever you go to my um, Twitch page, it was back when I originally started streaming. My daughter and I would do what we call team streams, and it was just a lot of fun, uh, laughter and stuff. Not there's anything wrong with that, but now that I've kind of become a a flight simmer. Um, I want it to be more geared toward flight simming than, you know, what it is now. So, anyways, that'll be a nice little clip for that. Oh, by the way, Dave, if you're still on here, um, don't forget to get me some, some video clips because I am done with students now. As of last night, I had my last class until the first week, until the second week, excuse me, in January. So, uh, I'll have some extra time. Oh, okay. Uh, Dave, check out Dropbox. If you're not familiar with Dropbox, um, it is free, but you only get two gigabytes of storage. So that, that can be an issue. Um, also, I'll try to look and see if there's a way that I can send you a link where you can upload files to my in-house server. So I've got a server here at the house that's like a cloud-based server. So maybe you can, uh, maybe I can set that up where you can upload files directly into my server. That may be good. But check out Dropbox first. And like I said, the only drawback to that is you only get two gigabytes without having to pay. And I don't want you to have to pay. Keep checking the horizon. Checking the horizon for Dwarven Egg. Dwarven Egg is flying out here to us. Gonna meet up with us. We should be seeing their name tag soon. Discord. Um, video files can be pretty big. Most of the video files that I shoot are in the um like tens of gigabytes so i'm not sure you know what dave was shooting with but it could be it could be a lot of gigs a lot of gigabytes yeah i'm looking for your tag too dwarven egg which i am flying i'm only at a thousand feet so i'm pretty low what's your altitude right now dwarven egg Okay, so we're, we're flying the same altitude pretty much. All right. 
if we were higher in the air we'd probably see each other a lot quicker but that's cool we'll we'll see each other soon because yeah you're you're flying almost exactly opposite of me Oh, cool. The island on my left is on your right, so we'll be seeing each other soon. Sweet. Good deal. You guessed really well at my altitude. Earlier today, when I was streaming this morning, I flew at 600 feet. But I just wasn't sure about the altitude of some of these islands, so uh, I figured a 1,000 would be safe, and I could always uh, avoid... If it was if it was higher than that. It's an island. You'll see it getting bigger in the front window. Bigger is bad and pull up. I'm still a good little ways away though. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't see, I don't see an island. Um, yeah, looking at my, look, looking at my chart here. Um, the next island is a long ways away. Um, over over 100 miles away or 100 yeah 100 miles away yeah it kind of fools me too this um the reflection of the clouds in the water initially when i first started flying out here in the pacific really screwed with me so you took off from phfs um so we're still let's see here yeah it'll be a little while before we see each other i think we're what 160 160 180 miles away from each other probably not that much now but we're still a good little ways away from each other let's go we will meet up So I'm actually, if you took off from uh, Papa Hotel, Foxtrot, Sierra, and you're at this heading, yeah, we'll we'll meet up. This is my my next destination is this little island right here, which is kind of northwest um, from where from where you took off. this flight plan still shows me um that i've got seven and a half hours left before i'm done so there's no way i'm finishing this tonight i'm gonna stream for probably probably another couple hours hour and a half two hours so we'll definitely have time to meet up and do some flying and then um just see see how things end up and then I'll continue. I will be streaming tomorrow morning starting at between 9 and 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. We'll continue on this Hawaiian Pacific tour. Oh, got a door knock in my ear. Who's knocking on the door? Zook! What's going on, Zook? How are you? I was not expecting that to be you. I had no idea who was doing the door knock, but uh, it's you. How are you? Welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're having a good evening. Sun's getting ready to set. I can't wait to see the sunset. I'm really excited to see how the sun's going to look.
you have that tiny island on vfr map yeah yeah we i was a good long ways from that from that airport uh, but we'll meet up no problem i'm fantastic zook i am really really good just finished a semester up yesterday last night we finished up my semester i've got one week actually less than a week now of work before we're on christmas break for three weeks doing really well thank you i'm excited to get into a more routine streaming schedule now that we're through with students so y'all can expect to see me um probably each evening whoa there was some more lightning that is so freaking cool that heat lightning is awesome uh can we use youtube videos for the clips oh of course yes yes we can now, are you asking can we use my youtube videos or are you asking can we use youtube videos either way i mean yeah we can use mine but why would i think i think i'm misunderstanding what you're saying dave i'm sorry but yeah we can use youtube videos Um, the problem with using YouTube videos, can I use your YouTube videos to create that? Yeah. Um, yes, yes. The problem with using the YouTube videos is um, this. I don't think. Never mind. I take that back. I take that back. I do have a way to rip to rip YouTube videos. So if you will message me the videos that you want me to pull. I should be able to rip them to copy them uh, with audio. That may work. I didn't think about that, Dave. That is probably doable. Hey, no problem, Dave. I enjoy, I, I really do enjoy video editing. I'm kind of, kind of in a rut with uh, coming up with my own, redoing my own channel trailer. Um, just because I want it to be engaging. You know, when people, when people come to my channel, they see this really fun, engaging video um, that I don't really, I, I'm, I'm not that person I mean, I still am that person, but I, I don't, you know, I don't play those, those games like I did, if that makes sense. Uh, so I want to do a flight sim intro video. It's, it can only be a minute long. Um, and so I, I want to pick some, some engaging content of flight sim to show. And so anyways, yeah. I'm rambling now. <laughs> All right, good deal. <laughs> Ramble on, my man. <laughs> oh my gosh, the more uh, the more tired I get, the more uh, the more I ramble. But, um. I really, I really, really, really enjoy people and I enjoy engaging with my community. And so I just feel like, you know, I want to have something to talk about. I want to just talk because the, the last thing I want is for someone to come onto my channel and me just be sitting here saying nothing. So I'd rather be just rambling than, uh, than not saying anything. So thank you for that encouragement. I appreciate that. By the way. 
um i haven't mentioned this in quite a little while i do have uh, my livery posted on flightsim.to uh, so if you'd like to get the livery if you're ever flying with me and you want to see my plane like it is right now um, you can go to flightsim.to and download that livery into your community folder and that way um, it'll look the same on your sim as it does on mine you only get better at the talking by talking it out yes you do yes you do Oh, you're going to be on Vat Sim on Tuesday? Nice. Nice. I still have not tried Vat Sim yet. I've got it. I've got it. I just haven't done anything with it. Um, and I guess it's, it's really, for me, it's just an intimidation thing because I'm still really new at flying. So... Oh, cool, Dwarven Egg. That's awesome. I I could probably make my own. Um, I, I've got I've got Photoshop, um, but Photoshop is is I use Photoshop for specific things related to my drone business. Um, I use it for time lapses and stuff like that. But as far as doing like heavy editing and stuff like that. I get really frustrated with it because it's got so many different features. So I could probably do my own liveries, but I really didn't want to take the time to learn it. So I just commissioned, I commissioned a guy on uh, Shoney Gaming's channel, Ewald, if any of y'all are on Shoney Gaming's channel. I saw him also on uh, the Flying Fabio's channel earlier today, but Ewald is who created this one for me. Oh, dude, <laughs> awesome Dwarven Egg. Man, that's, you, you are awesome, thank you. Yeah, they did a really good job. So he just, uh, he said, hey, look, send me, send me your logo, send me what color you want, a sample, and what font you want, and I'll, you know, I'll make it work. So, you know, I sent him my logo. My logo's got purple in it. I love purple. And so I said, hey, look, can you put my logo in a circle? There it is. I also love crazy mismatched socks. I'm known as the Lord of Socks in, in several other streamers channels. So there's a sock on this side and then he then I gave him another sock for this side that of course doesn't match. And then my tail number that I use and the font. So yeah, I mean, it did a fantastic job. It's a lot of work. So I'm really, really pleased with it. Right. The sun's getting to where we'll be in golden hour very soon and I can't wait to see the clouds really pop once the sun drops just a little bit further down. Yeah, I appreciate that dwarven egg. Dude, that's that's really awesome of you. Thank you. Yeah, Slayer T, what's going on, Slayer T? How are you? Golden hour is coming up, brother. I know how much you love golden hour. Um, Slayer T is also a streamer, so here's a shout out for Slayer. Be sure you uh, check out this short video clip of their stream. Right, there's a clip of Slayer T streams. Oh, Zook giving the uh, the sock command. This is the first time this stream that someone has shouted out that sock command. Let me get get them ready. Okay, so turn on my sock cam light. So one thing that I another thing I do that is unusual to any other streamer that I have ever seen is I wear crazy mismatched socks all the time, even in real life, even if I'm wearing shorts. Um, and I've got a sock cam. Yeah, yeah, I've got to raise the volume on the shout outs. The drone of the plane kind of drowns them out. So, uh, but I've got a sock cam and here we go. 
so there's my sock cam uh on the right foot i've got blue sushi, sushi socks try saying that no i wasn't aware that the caption blocks my face thank you for that slayer i had no idea oh on the right <laughs> yes sock cam on the right foot blue sushi socks on the left foot i've got my red christmas holly socks and those my friends those are my socks of the day yeah, so I always wear crazy mismatched socks, and that's another thing unique to me and my channel that I've never seen anywhere else. Ah, oh, captions are covering my face. How do I even fix that? Oh. I'm not even sure how to fix, how to change where um, closed captions display. Can you do that? Can you change it? I'm not aware of being able to do that. Okay, cool. Thank you, Dwarven Egg. I appreciate that. Yeah, so I never, I never watch a stream with closed captioning on. Um, but yeah, that's kind of bothersome because I do have some people that come in that watch um, that that can't hear or whatever, and they like to like to watch them. To um, they like to have the closed captioning on there. Virtual flying and streams will always be here. Um, an, another thing about Slayer T is uh, they do a lot of um, a, a lot of streaming, and they always do flight sim. But they love the golden hour as well. The sunrises and the sunsets are amazing. It's a setting in your OBS. Super simple, but during a stream would be funky to screw with. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. So Slayer, what we're doing is um, kind of by accident, to be honest. Right, yeah, I need to move it near the top and not all the way to the top. So Slayer T, what we're doing here. This morning, I started streaming at about 9, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. And I wanted to fly the Hawaiian Islands. So I said, hey, rather than just, whoops, rather than just fly the main islands, why don't I start over here and fly some of the little islands in the Pacific? And so I built it in my um, SIM toolkit and it said that the flight should last about four hours. So I said, hey, that's cool. That's about how long I'll stream. Well, once I loaded in the aircraft that I was gonna be flying, it said that this flight path is going to be 11 hours. Yeah, and it doesn't count for wind too. Gotcha. So it's been, uh, it, it's been fun. It really has. A lot of it is just flying over the Pacific Ocean, looking at clouds. But we've discovered some remote islands. One we named Pork Chop Island. Last night we named it Pork Chop Island. Another one... Uh, it's got a big body of water in the middle of it. We learned some history about it. Yeah, plus, plus I got Iceman a thousand, uh, a thousand nautical miles from land in a helicopter with only a 350 range. So anyways, I, I'm, I'm really new to uh, Sim Toolkit. <laughs> yeah, I used I used the magic gas can earlier. I'm very thankful for the magic gas can that we have in this game. 
Uh, it would be awesome to have one in real life, but uh, yeah. So we're just kind of cruising along here. Um, still got about a hundred miles. We got, we're about a hundred miles away from our next destination. Yeah, that would be pretty cool if we can just load in. Fort boy serious <laughs> joke that you say everything is Fort boy. You had the luxury edition with floats. So you just had your yacht bring you bring you some fuel. I hear you, Ice Man. Heck yeah. Oh, someone's hosting my channel. Who's hosting? Who's hosting? I can't see it. Dave Rendon is hosting. Dave, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate that so freaking much. I appreciate all the support from everybody. Looks like I'm on a pretty good track for this little tiny island. Um, does it even have a name? Let me see. Dwarven Egg, thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for that host. Uh, this island is called the Gardener Pinnacles. So we're coming up on a, on a little island called the Gardner Pinnacles, also a part of Hawaii in the United States. Oh, I forget about it too, Dwarven. Don't, don't worry about it. I appreciate it, but I forget about hosting a ton. Iceman is hosting now as well. Holy crap. All the host love tonight. Thank you all so much. Give everyone some hype for the host, some host hype. Thank you for that host hype, everybody. I truly appreciate that. And it is something that's easy to forget. Twitch used to do auto hosting, but I don't think Twitch does auto hosting anymore. Host, dude, I love that. Is that your? I love, I love that emo. That is freaking cool. Okay, I've got auto host set up, but I didn't think, I thought Twitch disabled it because of all the uh, bot hate raids and everything that they had a couple months ago. But yeah, I've got auto hosting set up and it used to do it, but I don't know that it, I think it's disabled. I could be wrong, but I think it's disabled through Twitch right now. Auto host works sometimes. All right, just cruising along. Two-tone Murphy does it. Okay. And like I said, I've got it set up because I know as long as I've been on Twitch, I've had several channels auto hosted, but I was told, um, whenever, you know, it's been, been two or three months ago. Now there was a lot of hate raids and stuff going on and bot raids and bot follows and stuff. And, uh, I, I, I thought at that point that Twitch disabled it. Oh, Slayer T, you're going to slip away. Enjoy the remainder of your flight. Thank you so much, Slayer T. I appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us this evening. Thank you. Always good to see you. Take care. Have a good rest. I'll be streaming for another probably hour and a half before I wind things up and head to bed so I can get some rest before I start streaming tomorrow. See you later, Slayer. Take care of yourself. Safe flying and happy dreams.
All right. Looks like uh, the clouds have cleared up a little bit around us. And the sun isn't as low in the sky as what I thought it was. Uh, when the clouds were covering it up, I anticipated it being closer to the horizon. So we still got a little ways to go uh, before we hit golden hour. Hopefully golden hour. Oh, there we go. There's dwarven egg. I see your tag now. Golden Sunshine! How's it going, Golden Sunshine Gaming? How are you? Welcome this evening. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the host. Appreciate that. I hope things are going good for you. How have you been? Yeah, I see you now, too. You just popped up uh, a couple seconds ago. I still think it, I think it's just me and you out here, right? Yep. Show us those All right, Golden Sunshine Gaming wanting to see some socks tonight. So let's see here. My socks of the day on the, um, wait a minute. There we go. On the right foot, I've got my sushi socks my uh, blue sushi socks on the right foot on the left foot i've got my uh christmas socks red with holly leaves and berries on them and those are my socks of the day thank you for that command i hope you're doing well always good to see you yeah you know i've only seen one other aircraft out here on this server so far uh, during this stream anyways there was one that was flying at 42,000 feet that I know they weren't with us besides that uh, another viewer earlier in the stream was flying along but that's it me and you out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean oh Iceman you got to go all right Iceman thank you so much I appreciate the lurk Hey, Iceman, thank you for being here. I appreciate the lurk. Uh, sleep well, my friend. Sleep well. Maybe one day during my uh, Christmas break, I can uh, drive up and see you. So Iceman and I realized early on that we live about two, two and a half hours away from each other. Yeah, take care of yourself, Iceman. Sleep well, friend. So maybe one of these days I can uh, drive drive uh, east from where I'm at and meet up with you. We're still, um, I would say about 50 miles out of our next little um, piece of land, our next little tiny island. Um, Dwarven Egg is probably about as far away from it, uh, but on the opposite side of it. Can you see, can you see the uh, land yet, Dwarven Egg? How far away are you um, from the, from that little island? I think I'm going to change my heading to 95. Um, I want to overfly it. It looks like I'm going to miss it by just a little bit at the heading I'm at right now. Let's see what this looks like. I'll give it just a minute. It's a ways away. Yeah, me too. It looks like I'm probably, I don't know, six, 50 or 60 miles out gotcha still can't see it on visual 
yeah um i i have spawned in before like to start tonight's flight i had landed on uh on one of these tiny islands and my intentions were to spawn to try to take off from the island but it actually spawned me 1500 feet above the island so i said well you know i'll just go with that because chances are i was not going to have enough room to take off from the island anyways not your flaps pull your engine with full brakes then grip and rip you can make it right yeah i mean i, I probably could have I'm, I'm not that experienced to have tried that so i was um i, I was not going to complain that it spawned me 1500 feet above the island the only really the only complaint i had was that um, yeah, it, it's true. This is true. It's all about learning. You're right. The only problem was I started out with half a tank of fuel, um, but there was no there was no fuel on the island anyway. So you know, did I cheat by doing an, uh, an air refueling? Heck yes. But it was either that or sink into the Pacific Ocean, and you know, that's not real engaging either. TFFJ runway 10 let me uh, I'm gonna make a note of that so I've got a little notebook over here where I make notes of stuff that people tell me to try <laughs> on my own time obviously so you're not wanting to embarrass me Hannah I had to leave for a bit but she's back no problem at all Hannah I appreciate you uh, regardless of how much time you're able to spend, I appreciate you either way. Um, very on in my streaming career. I haven't had a PC in years. I mean, it, it's been years and years. Third hardest airport in the world to make the runway. Oh, wow. Seriously? You have to be specially licensed to land there? Very early on in my streaming career um this is the first pc i've had in a long time I, I switched to mac so i bought this gaming pc and someone told me on stream hey hit control i don't even remember what it was but it was control something little did i know that it would shut stream down and so i hit it and of course it shut my stream down so that was uh, one of my first meetups with a troll on stream. So I, I learned really quick not to always trust everything that people in chat tell you when it comes to um, com computer commands. Yeah, control alt F4. There you go. That was it. And of course, I'm stupid enough to hit it, but I'm thinking, yeah, don't, no, no, no. I'm not going to do it. But back then, back then I was naive enough to not know any better you know i'm thinking it's something to do with the game that i'm playing and i hit it and you know there we go and i just laughed about it i mean i didn't get upset it takes a lot to get me mad so it, it was all good it was i thought it was pretty funny actually oh yeah yeah you know very few things in life are worth having a big fit about you know man i kind of liked it better when there was uh more clouds out here now that it's cleared up a little bit there's really not a whole lot to see i mean i kind of enjoyed the lightning now and then and stuff and I know I could I could spawn more clouds and stuff, but I like to keep everything as real as possible. So 
if we were right now flying our Cessna 172 in the Pacific, this is very similar to what we would see in the Atlantic that way. Except that we wouldn't see the outside of the plane. I have someone on my tail, do I? Oh, Lopez is back. Heck yeah. I just mentioned Lopez. Oops. I just mentioned Lopez a minute ago and, and they're back. So they are, they, Lopez is a streamer and they're also a viewer. So Lopez has decided to come back. Oh my gosh. Are you, did you just touch the water? I saw some really low altitudes there, unless the game's just kind of glitching, but I'm seeing like eight feet doing some water skimming with your aircraft tonight wheel drags on the water's fun oh dude i'm gonna have to try that out i'll have to try that out in the bush plane sometimes thank you for um thank you for that discord command and actually i think i now have it set up to where if you jump in my discord and you want a voice chat i think i've got it set up where you can hear me and i can hear you i think I had someone request that a couple streams ago and I used to have it set up because I played a ton of Among Us, but it's been a long time. So that's an option if you want to do it. All right, well, we're just cruising along. Um, I'm going to take another quick break. Y'all, I've been drinking a bunch of water. I have... Um, been trying to lose some weight get healthier and part of that is drinking a lot of water so let me uh yeah you know what that's one term that i am familiar with pic um from my drone training uh but yeah let me uh let me take a quick bathroom break if you want to jump in voice chat you're welcome to if not that's perfectly cool too the choice is totally yours um, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about my drone training when I come back. So I'm, I'm not the typical um, drone or remote pilot that just um, went out and, and did studying on an app and, and passed the test. So I did take some actual training from an Airbus pilot, a two day course um, to learn more about it. And I'll, I'll tell you some more about that when I come back. Okay, um, let me be right back. I'll be back in about I don't know, two, three minutes. See you then.
Um, so about the uh, about the remote pilot certificate when the FAA first announced the, the part 107 requirement of course I knew I wanted it because I had already been flying drones um, commercially without the um, 333 that you had to have prior to the part 107 but anyways there's apps out there that you can get on your phone and again you just memorize questions and answers and i didn't want to be that person i wanted to know the whys of you know why is it that i can only fly 400 feet and why is it that you know around certain airspace i have to get authorizations and stuff so there's a gentleman named scott strimple who's a uh, airbus i don't know what I don't know exactly which aircraft he flies, but he's a, uh, a jetliner, an airliner air pilot with either United or American. I can't remember which. So he held a two day training course in Richmond, Virginia in 2016, 2015, 2016. I went up and took it and man, he taught us a lot of stuff. Oh, Hannah, thank you so much. I appreciate you adding that. Thank you. Did it not? Oh my gosh, it didn't add it. Um, so, but he taught us so much about airspace and, um, oh, cool. Did you can, so can you hear me? I'm not hearing you if you're saying anything. All right, hang on a minute. Let's see. We check my routing. Okay, I was just checking. I was making sure that my Go XLR is set to. Uh oh, didn't mean to pull that up. User settings. Hannah, poor Hannah, you're trying to be a good mod. I'm sorry. voice and video voice activity push to talk I don't have it oh wait a minute there we go do I have it muted is that better now no it's it's definitely muted now there we go so headphones I've got everything so dwarven egg, I don't, I don't mind dragging this over here. Um, so it's not muted, and I don't have, I don't have my headphones turned off. All right, click on my Discord. Hang on a minute. Oh, right here. No, not that. <laughs> okay, so scroll down to general voice chat. Oh, oh, I'm with you. Okay, sorry about that. See, so do I have it turned off right there? Click general. Oh, there we go. Thank you. There you are. There we go. Cool deal, man. I appreciate that. It's been a long time since I've used this. It, Discord is its own monster. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, thank you for uh, for doing that. Shoot, I, I started flying off course as I was looking over. <laughs> There's a slight <laughs> breeze that will turn you to the north. <laughs> uh, can everyone on stream hear me? Anyone in chat? Can y'all hear... Um... Dwarven Egg. I muted the channel so I didn't hear myself twice, but they should be able to. Yeah, it looks like it is. Cool. Good. 
feel free to ignore me yeah you can hear us both okay thank you hannah caffeinated i know sometimes um you have mod and editor duty or abilities right that if might not, be if not scruffy i can show you how to do that after too okay cool yeah 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 might need to do that because you might she um or they i thought you said she but yeah they, is she uh, okay <laughs> never know uh, yep. um they may um only be mod which means they can do shots they can put clips they can do all that but they can't edit anything because you have to make them a, a mod and editor gotcha in order to add commands yep is that something new they yeah because they had some people that were like abusing it they had to make a a difference between it gotcha okay yeah when when all those hate those stupid hate raids went around yep. that's that's when they changed a bunch of stuff okay so roles manager and yeah, she's an editor and a moderator. Okay. It, it just might be that Twitch is freaking out because she's doing it right. <laughs> All right, cool. Twitch just doesn't like you, Hannah. Sometimes Nightbot gets angry, so you never know. Like... That's true. Yeah, Hannah, I'm assuming, um, because I always say she to you, so I'm assuming that that is, that that is correct. You haven't fussed at me yet about that, so I'd say I'm exactly. still safe. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and, it's a, and it's a newer thing. Yep, it is. So a lot, of, uh, a lot of the older generations and stuff have to, now I'm not exactly the older generation. I'm only 38, but still, like there's a lot of getting used to making sure that your PC for a lot of people on on streams and yes. things like that. Yes, it is. Um, if you don't mind me asking, and I understand if you um, if you don't, um, if you do, I mean, are you? Are, I'm sure you're in the United States, but what what region yep. of the U.S. are you in? Chicago. Oh no, freaking way! Yeah. My yeah. daughter's in-laws live in Chicago. Um, oh and she's and all right she, she's heading up that way monday actually for 10 days i think oh I nice it'll be nice and cold for her yeah yeah i can't remember the suburb um and i'm sure she's asleep by now or i'd text her to see so there's a subaru dealership up there that her uh, father-in-law is um sales manager general manager over and it's I can't, not in countryside is it because uh, my really really good friend of mine works there and he's also a streamer are you kidding me i'm not kidding you oh wow um dang let me it text might be. there's not there's not many subarus out this way no it's so not it might be it might be but yeah that's that's kind of it's small world huh yeah How about that let me see if she's awake there I didn't form that into a question for her, so if uh, if it wakes her up, then I'm telling her she's awake. <laughs> <laughs> Caffeinated, that's kind of funny. Nightbot and I have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my poor Nightbot really, um, it, it, has its, it has its moments. <clears throat> but thank you, Hannah, for that clarification. Mm-hmm. It really would be. That would be a huge, huge coincidence. Well, not coincidence, but just a. Yeah, I mean, it'd be pretty amazing. It's just, weird. it's just weird and awesome. Yeah. Life's full of those. Yeah, they are. So we still have Lopez hanging out back there. Lopez fan tube flying along with us and um, I guess we're getting closer to each other so how long have you been in Chicago your whole life uh, I've been in Chicago no um, I used to live on an island in Florida and nice. that was the greatest thing ever <laughs> and then nice. I moved to Chicago to help take care of some family 
And um, so I've only been in Chicago for like 10 years. Okay. I miss I miss the island life. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so over there. I have you centered from me. What we're doing is we're flying parallel. So I'm going to take a different heading and I'm going to try and cut you off. So okay, cool. I can catch up. Good deal. I was going to try to change my heading towards you, but then that would take me away from the island that I was going to fly over. So, yeah, thank you. There was one other island um, in between us and Lopez might be flying over it, over it, or close enough to see it. Cool. There okay. We go. I can see your lights. I can see your lights. If you look over, you should be able to see lights on my plane. As long as I have them on. I do have them on. Thank God. Yeah, I think because I'm looking into or not. Yeah, yeah, I do see them now. Yep, I do. Nice. So how? Oh, that's right. You've already told me. I was going to ask how long you've been streaming for, but six months. It's a grind, but it is so much fun. <laughs> it is. I, I really love it. I had been a member of Twitch for a little more than a year before I decided I wanted to, well, before I started streaming, I should say. And um, I went to bed one night. I had 20, mm, I think it was 26 followers. Woke up the next morning and I had 52 uh, unbeknownst to me, one of my viewers had announced to another a streamer friend of hers who I didn't know that um, that I need needed some help getting to affiliate, and so they would not end their stream until their community got me 52 followers. That's awesome. It was it was really awesome. That's what the good communities are about. Yes, yes it is. For sure. Yeah, I was a product of Tifa. You're exactly right, Hannah. And, th and that's one of the things that that streamer still does. They have a, a program called Luna. I forgot what it stands for, but it, they basically they have certain targets and uh, they, they push everyone towards helping them hit affiliate. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. He, he's I a got, really. I got a, a couple of um, streaming friends that are um, real big into that. Uh, a couple of few partners, and they're all there. And to this day, I mean, they're they're full partners, and they are still pushing us. And they're like, they're right into everybody's everything all the time, and it's great. Dude, that's really yeah, really cool. Yeah, one one of them. Um, he actually does something called an education station in the mornings two days a week where he tells you all of everything that you don't you need to know like how to work Streamlabs and actually get it to work to show you all the correct analytics and all that stuff so it's really nice nice and i hope if i ever get partner um, and that, that is a goal of mine, but, but I know that's a long ways away, um, that I will continue to be like I am now and be accepting of everybody and not yep. accepting, but you know what I mean? Like shouting people out and everything. Um, you have to, you have to, it's, it's the, it's the people come here to spend time with you yes. and, and that's what it's about, man. I yeah. And, and I'll tell you a quick story and I, and I know Hannah, Hannah was here for this. At the end of my morning stream, I rated another, I, I rated someone who is partner and I never got an acknowledgement. They, they never, and I, I came in with 30 people. They never yeah. said, thank you for the raid. Um, they had at least one person that followed from my raid. They never said, and I saw several other people that followed while I was watching them. They never acknowledged them. <laughs> like, yeah. Dude. Do you remember sometimes. when you first started? Yeah, it's it's sometimes that happens. All right, so now you have caught up. Feel free to fly right up to me. Um, am I going too fast? No, no. So 
like we're about 25 miles from the island. <coughs> excuse, excuse me. Oh, you're good. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that in your ear. <laughs> That's okay. I've done it in all my viewers' ears by accident before, so uh, no, no worries. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Yeah, I can't see myself ever changing either. I, I just love people too much. And I will crash my freaking plane or whatever, uh, paying attention to my chat before I'll, you know, ignore my viewers. That's good stuff right there. Yeah, you know, I'm as much as I love playing games before I was a flight sim where I was uh, just a um, variety streamer. And if I was playing a game, I might suck at it because I was trying to pay attention to my chat. But, I mean, you know, that's what people come in for is to be engaged with. That, that's exactly right. A lot of times I don't really care what you're playing. It's a, yeah, you're like me. You care more about the community. Yeah. If I get what Zook? If I catch, then I'll be a submarine. Oh, if I crash, if I crash, I'm with you. Stupid autocorrect. All right, here comes Dwarven Egg flying up behind me. Uh, Lopez, um, if you can, if you can catch up, come on up. We'll get some screenshots of us all flying together. Lopez, if you um, if you want to catch up the fast way and you're on PC, push Y. That's slew mode. You can basically just right up to us. Really? I didn't know that. Yep. It's a good way if you're ever flying in a big formation and you do a big oops because somebody <laughs> says, do a, do a barrel roll, and you actually just duff it. Right. <laughs> you can just... Then you have to just hit restart and then slew right to wherever they're at. You'll fly at about 800 miles an hour and slew. Oh, sweet. See, when you said slew, I thought you were talking about just, um, oh, shoot, mine just went blank. Spawning in. So, yeah, oh. I, I hadn't heard of that before. Cool. Now we're getting close to golden hour. I can already see the clouds changing color on the sun, on the uh, horizon. Need to get the drone cam out so I can get above us. Let me break it out really quick. All right, getting out the drone cam where I can do a little creative flying here. <clears throat> creative shots try and get right in on your uh, wing here yeah yeah perfect Good stuff. Oh, I think we lost Lopez. Rip. And I have lost us. Oh, yeah, that'll happen with the drum. <laughs>
Lopez, we need to send a uh, rescue party out for you. Lost in the middle of the Atlantic. Oh, Lopez is suddenly swimming. Right. <laughs> Swim fast. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Your flight is about to turn into a cruise. <laughs> All right, she's still awake. So let me ask her the name. Um... You can just ask her, is it in countryside? There's only one in countryside. Oh, it's in Elgin. Elgin, okay. That would have been a really funny coincidence. Yeah, it definitely would have been. asking her what suburb they live in oh st charles that's it yeah i can remember it st charles yeah that's only like half hour away from me really yeah it's a really pretty area really pretty and i hang her by aircraft only about 12 minutes from there oh wow that's awesome It looks like we're 15 miles out from the little island. Curious to see what it's going to look like. I'm curious to see if we can land on it. Yeah, I might give it a try. We'll, we'll have to see how big it is. Well, yeah, we'll have to give a, a, a flyover. Yeah. Most people don't realize that the Cessna 172 is also a bush plane. You just put big tires on it and <laughs> you can fly it like a bush plane. Really? I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. It's, it looks like the tiniest island that I have seen so far. Hello, is it me you're for? Okay, Golden Sunshine Gaming, thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate that. Go get more comfortable and get a cold glass of water. It sounds good to me. Is it me you're lurking for? You like that? Yeah. And I've got an unlurk message. It's pretty awesome, too. Oh, let me type that in there really quick. I'll, I'll sing that stuff for you. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to start losing viewers. I'm like, who the hell is the guy singing? <laughs> stream on, stream on, stream on. Come back, stream because because awesome I came back work. to you. I love it. That's my unlurk message. Well, we're 15 nautical and I don't see anything yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. So that is one other thing. Don't be surprised if it's just not rendered or it's just a flat piece of 
nondescript land like the coral reef that you flew over <laughs> right that was rather disappointing I mean, they can't be expected to put everything in yet they got to put in the stuff that everybody wants to see first oh for sure yeah 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 hannah thank you for the door knock troll I appreciate that. That used to really get me, but um, I've gotten so used to that door knock now. Because <laughs> I've got a door right here on my right, and then I've got a bathroom door right here on my left, so and it, and it pings off of both the ears, so it used to really screw with me, but i kind of gotten accustomed to it. Jump scares are the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got a scream that scares the crap out of me. And someone clipped it one time. I ripped my headphones off. It scared me so bad. <laughs> I was playing a, I was playing a spooky game too. Oh, I love a good scary game, but sometimes they get you. <laughs> Hannah follows a streamer that literally every time someone redeems it, she whips <laughs> her head around and takes her headphones off. What? <laughs> that is awesome. Surely that's just. Uh, part of the act are you going to go to air venture this year i have what is that i have no idea i'm sorry uh, the oshkosh air show the largest air show in the world Oh, where's uh, where's Oshkosh at? Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Gotcha. It's a bit of a, a bit of a travel, but it is worth it. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna say no for this year. But hey, there's always next year. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, I, I've always been fascinated with flying and flights. And hence yeah, they the. Have a, oh, go ahead. No, 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 no. You go ahead. No, I was going to say for you, they have a whole section this year dedicated to drones. Uh, so nice. FPS drone racing is going to be there. Um, there's going to be things about drone photography. There's all kinds of stuff now with drones because nobody in the flight community looks down at drones because here's the thing. A lot of the pilots, when we're not in planes, we're in drones. Right, <laughs> yeah. We're always doing something, you know? Yep. Cool. Um, and, and just playing a flight sim or, or, or flying a plane in flight sim has really got my interest back of trying to get my PPL um, again. So I struggle with motion sickness and, and I went one time, I did one flight lesson and got sick as a dog. So that's actually common. Uh, it's actually really common. Um, you will get used to it. As long as you have a good instructor and you explain to them, hey, I have a little bit of motion sickness, yeah. and maybe you just put one of those patches behind your ear before you get in the plane, and you just go ahead and get out there and, and just take it easy until you're more and more used to it, it'll probably take you extra hours to get there, but who cares? You're flying. Yeah, and you know, and he told me that back then, um, that, the, that I would get used to it, but man... So let me tell you what happened. This was a guy, and he was he was a CFI, um, lived two houses up from us, and I'd known him my whole life. I see I see it now. I see the land. It's yep, really it's tiny. Up. Yeah. Um. And so he took me up, and he said um, we got level, and he said, "Okay, pull back on the yoke." And so I started easing back, and he said, "No, I mean pull back," and he pulled it back, and we go. We go up and then he says now now push forward on it and i start easing forward and he says no and he pushes push. forward and, <laughs> and i lost it um yep. I, I puked but I, I i threw up out the window it's a funny story because i threw up over some on someone's house i'm sure i'm um, sure someone's <laughs> out there having a nice barbecue and all right. of a sudden uh, but anyways and, and that was it and he, he told me several times look you'll you'll get used to it but uh, it just wasn't a good day after that, so. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure he probably went, you know, being a friend and all, he probably went a little bit harder than he should have yes. on you, but, you know, it happens. 
I don't think we're landing here. I'm gonna fly low and take a look at it. Yeah, that's cool. It, it looks really, really tiny. It is very tiny. Very tiny, but... If you put your wheels down right, we might be able to make that. Let me make a small pass. Sure. If what you want it. I, I, I'll watch you. Because <laughs> there are, there's no obstructions. This is true. All right, here comes Viking. Wow, this is... This is a stole if I've ever seen one. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming in under zero, zero power. I mean, I'm going to be full brakes. Yeah, you can make it. Oh, wow. Dude, that was that was pretty amazing. <laughs> you can make it. All right, let me try it. I'll, I'll give it go a try. Go for it. Go let for me, it. Let me go I to mean, cockpit. If you duff it, you duff it. If you duff it, you duff it. Who cares? God, I'm about to crash just trying to turn around. There we go. Let's see here. Where is it at? You're going to do it full. Oh, uh, you're going to need full flaps, barely touch at the beach and slam on the brakes. I don't think I flew far enough out. I don't even see it. You Where did. the heck? Come in, come in. Oh, um, I see it now. Yep. You got it. Just hit that fat part of the island. I thought I saw it. Where the heck? It's to your left. It's still to my left. Okay, thank you. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right. Full flaps. Let's see if I can do it. My landings, I am still horrible at landings. It's the it's the hardest part, but let's go. Let's <laughs> This is the biggest challenge I've had yet as a pilot. You got this, bro. You got this. You're lined up right. You're lined up perfect. How many notches of flaps? I've got Three. it all the way down. All the way down. Good. Yep. Take out all your power. All your power and just float it in. And uh, thank you for the looking confidence good. boost. Looking good. It's looking good. I'm not going to hit the water. No, no, no. Okay. Pull up a bit. All right. If, if, if you get low, you just put in a little power. Because I'm getting power. low. Power, 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 power. No, no, power, no. Power. Oh, crap. Oh. oh, so close. Dang it. Man. I was so close. Okay, so if I hit restart, is it going to spawn me back there or? If you hit restart. It's going to start me all the way back, isn't it? It might, but you can use the slew to get over. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So hit Y, right? Yeah. So hit restart. Man, I I I was recording all of that for you too. I really <laughs> awesome. thought you were gonna make it. I really thought you were gonna make it. I had my OBS and recording in 
in drone mode for you. I oh, you dude, make that. awesome! Thank you. But don't worry about it. I'll send you in your Discord. I will send you your epic crash. <laughs> so what do I hit now? So hit Y, and now just push forward. Oh. Hit Y. All right. No, no, Y. You gotta hit Y. You're not in slew mode. When I hit Y, it just takes me from inside to outside camera. Right. Um, no, no, that's outside, but you notice that you're not moving. Oh, okay. Yep. Now, I think if you use your WASD, maybe, or something, try hitting, uh, you know, the arrows forward. Yeah, let's see here. On your arrows. No, arrows aren't doing it. WASD isn't doing it. Try eight on your numpad. Oh, the number pad. Gotcha. There we go. Wow, that's pretty cool. There you go. Am I heading in the right direction, though? Let me get. No, no, I wasn't. Okay. Okay, so how do I change my heading then? Just uh, use six or oh. four. It should turn you change you. What something will change your actual aircraft maybe nine that looks pretty that, awesome i i also have a um uh there we go okay cool nine did it thank you yep i also have a um controller set up to my computer that's why it's a little easier with that okay yeah i've got a controller Oh, do you? Um, yeah, yeah, but this oh, is good yeah, though. You, you can just pick that up and then your left and right joysticks will do everything. And the right trigger will give you altitude, left trigger will take you down. I didn't mean to make you crash. No, dude, that was that was a lot of fun and, and a learning it's experience a, for me. It's a fun little activity to do, right? <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I was so close. <laughs> yeah. You were very you are very close actually hannah we do have a flight sim expert with us who is also a pilot in real life as well so that that makes it even better uh oh thanks caffeinated making me feel all nice <laughs> yeah she um she used to be hannah and uh she changed her name to that so i just know her as hannah It might start sticking with me if you say it. <laughs> I know, right? It's it's that way. When I, I was in some other people's channels and, and I got used to calling people by their names other than um, their stream names and now they're in my channel and I, I call them, for example, Hannah. Oh, I just went to Hannah's page and she's doesn't look like she's a streamer, but you got to follow anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Because she is considering streaming, and so whenever she decides to do that, she'll be ahead of the game. Oh, cool. Yeah, you'll you'll learn from our mistakes. Yes. My, I, I just know mods are super important. So it's like, you got to give the mods love. Or as we always say, feed the mods. Yes, yes. All right, I'm about halfway there. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna land. I, I'm gonna do it. I love the confidence. Yeah, and once I do that, I'm probably gonna go ahead and wrap up stream because I know I'm not gonna have, I mean, I, of course I'll have time to do it, but not and get embedded a decent time. <laughs> so, that, I won't. you know what, that totally works. And then you know you can actually take off from this island when the, on the next stream. So you don't Definitely. have to take off from somewhere, you know. Yeah, there's definitely enough room i barely made it but there if you line it up right you're you're gonna be good you'll be golden yeah i'll make sure i line it up before i uh take off this time i'm not before i take off you know what i mean yeah before you turn to final yeah. yes
yeah hannah mods uh, like she just said she mods for at least two other channels who who i follow do you do you mod for anyone other than artemis and jess hannah I mean, I don't know how she does everything that she does because she's always in these people's channels and just does a phenomenal job. That's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> it's hard to tell from outside the aircraft, but um, your indicated is probably like six or seven hundred knots right now. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. So it takes a while, but I mean, you are moving just a couple of hundred knots under uh, breaking the sound barrier. Cool. Okay, so just just me and Artemis and uh, any adventure goes nice. Caffeinated, just three channels. That's oh, it. Oh boy, I wish. <laughs> How many do you mod for? Uh oh, oh, I did something. There we go. Ten. Holy crap. Ten, probably at least. But again, I, I this is all I do now, so Oh that's true. So I have some time to put towards it. Nice. Yeah, we do. We all three stream at pretty much the same time each day. When I stream in the mornings, uh, the other two streamers she mods for also stream at the same time. So she's modding three all at the same time. All right, it's showing I'm at 1,450 feet. So when I get close... Um, do not feel like you have to sub back. I just like your shit and I want your emotes. Dude, so, what the heck? Thank no, you. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Man, I appreciate it. Thank you sincerely very much. Yeah, it's, a, it's a fun channel. I like it. Well, I, I, well, like I hit some. Here we go. Well, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. I try to make it fun. Uh, try to be inclusive to everybody and uh, I truly do appreciate that when you do start flying again don't freak out that your plane is very suddenly going to lose altitude so you might want to go up okay I was wondering about that because I see I'm at 1500 feet yeah, I mean, 1,500 feet is, you know, enough, but you're uh, sitting at an idle uh, on your engine. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got plenty of room. All right, let's see how close I am. Very close. Yeah, let's see here. This island is going to be your uh, Moby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see the island, so I'm going to stop right here. And I just hit Y, right? To... Yep, just hit Y. Okay. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay. All right, full oh, flaps. Go. Okay. Drop on down. Thanks, Hannah. I super, super appreciate it. I know I typed that in chat too, but deal with it. You got thanked twice. <laughs> Double thanks. She deserves right, it. I'm watching. Yeah, you're, you've got plenty of height.
you're about you're getting close to you're in slow flight you're gonna stall oh i am on it yeah i am thank you there we go let your nose drip down where you're at is perfect positioning all right. You're going to be able to get the longest amount of runway that way. Or grass in this particular right. situation. <laughs> How many, uh, what's your flaps like right now? Um, full flaps. Do I need full to... flaps? Okay, perfect. No, yeah, no, okay. no, that's fine. Just slow flight it in. Just pull out, pull out your, um, your power, pull it out all the way. And just let the plane kind of sink down a little bit, maybe a couple hundred, okay. three hundred feet, because you're a little high. There we go. Okay. You're about to stall. Don't worry about the stall. It's just a drop. And then just feather it in. From this point on, the only thing that your throttle does is controls your height. Gotcha. Okay. So no throttle you're gonna lose altitude push the throttle in you're gonna gain altitude look really good right there perfect perfect slow flight i'm sure your stall horn is going insane right it's now. it's not actually that's that's crazy yeah i must be right on the bubble uh the stall horn in this 172 should start at 55 knots go ahead and throttle up about three quarters keep that throttle in you want to gain 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 because you're at uh about 100 yeah, I am. Hundred off the water, so. All right, there we go. So I'm stay. Oh no, I'm still dropping a little bit. Yep. If it, if you're dropping, just put more in. You're fine. Just just kind of feather it. Use your left eye to kind of keep an eye on that water below you, so it doesn't get too close. Right. Yes, yeah, so I'm still. At this point. At this point screw all of your gauges you don't need them you're doing this all by eye okay cool and feel it yeah don't all right. worry about your gauges at all do it by eye and and see you're gonna you're already starting to float it in there perfectly the wind is with you go ahead and take out that uh throttle here he comes Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Full brakes. Full brakes. Yeah, I'm full on brakes. full brakes. I am on full brakes. Heck yes. yes. Heck yes. Dude, that was amazing. That was freaking amazing. Unfortunately, I, unfortunately, I didn't have your livery on it, but I got all of that on video for you. Nice. 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 No, no worries about the livery. Dude, thank you so much. That was awesome. My best landing ever. There you go. Turn on my parking brake. There we go. Nice. All right. I'm going to go ahead and shut everything down. Hannah, thank you so much for that support as well. All right. Go ahead and shut everything down. In that way, uh, it'll give you the, yep. Well, come on. The, the end, the end screen. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Come on. Give me the end screen. All right. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll, that won't do it so go up to the top red knob pull that down one now go over to your red buttons turn those down pull your um you've pulled all of that yep actually get rid of your your yoke how do i do that oh oh click on it just click on it and it'll nice go okay cool i didn't realize that yep i get rid of both of mine um let's see here what is on in your aircraft 
Look down at your magnetos. The key. Um. The key on the bottom left there. Yep. Turn that all the way left. Yeah, it's all the way left. And you've pulled out your... There's no reason for this aircraft to be on right now. I'm not, I'm not even lying. There is no reason for this aircraft to be on right now. I always thought it was a runway thing that maybe I had to be on a runway because this has happened to me before that the flight will not end. Huh. Um, 